Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back again with another pick a card reading. Today's reading is going to be about your love life. We are gonna find out what the person on your mind is truly thinking and feeling about you. We are getting the tea today. We are finding out what is the purpose of them being in your life as well. I am redoing an old, old video I did on my channel in honor of today being a special day. I am launching my Oracle decks finally on Etsy. All the links will be in the comment section below and also in the description of the video. So I am releasing my romance deck and also my lifestyle deck. If you're curious to see how those cards read, I will be using them in the reading today. Also, I do wanna let you guys know I have a ton of exclusive content on my Patreon and also I have another platform where I do 18 plus readings. I have a lot planned over there and I also wanna let you guys know I do weekly pick a card readings on my Instagram. If you wanna follow me there, go ahead and do it. Thank you guys so much for supporting me so far and making this possible. Let's just hop right into the reading and find out what the person on your mind is truly thinking and feeling about you. And mind you, I haven't done one of these videos in a long time because I usually do them over on Patreon. So let's just hop right into it. I am super, super excited. Let's get started. All right, pile number one, let's see what your person is truly thinking about this connection with you. Okay, pile number one, I'm already getting intuitively from this stone that your person really finds you adorable. They feel like you're a breath of fresh air, that you're really unique, that they never met anyone like you before. This person is really amazed by some sort of talent that you guys have or that, you, yeah, something about you. I'm even hearing like you're intelligent, but you guys also have a very unique way of viewing the world that this person loves because it's just very refreshing. I feel like this person could have been from like an area where people are all the same or that they don't really see a lot of diversity or something like that for some of you guys, but something about you really just stands out to this person. I actually hear the song with Justin Bieber in it. It's um, you stick out of the crowd, it's a no brainer. Like that's what I'm hearing. Like this person feels like it's a no brainer when it comes to you, like they really do like you. So let's also see what else is going on here. All right, so I think I'm gonna start at the bottom. I have so many cards here today. Yeah, okay, so this person right off the bat, I'm feeling like this person is on some sort of soul mission where they do wanna walk away from the status quo. And somehow that connection with you does bring out like that side of themselves that makes them wanna change and be different. Like, I really feel like this person grew up where everybody was just living the same life and they don't wanna live that life. They wanna live a different life. And that's why they're connected to you because you seem to be living more uniquely than they are used to, which I really do love that. And I see as well that this person also is really feeling defensive right now. And I'm gonna see why. This person really does care about you, but I feel like they're feeling really defensive. All right, so one thing I really do feel about your person is that they do feel rejected by you guys, pile number one. So this person really does care about you, but they think that you rejected them. And I feel like this is causing a lot of the conflict and the connection. Like a lot of you guys, pile number one, you don't realize this person feels rejected by you. And not only that, this person is hypersensitive to rejection because of how they grew up or their life. So I feel like some of you guys are like, I didn't reject this person, but some of you guys are a little bit more shy or you're not open with your emotions. I feel you or them could be an air sign or an earth sign. Someone's very closed off here and I feel the other person may have took it the wrong way is what I'm getting and I'm also seeing as well with being humble this person's also very humble and I feel like they have a hard time kind of just like see how the guy has the flowers behind his back like this person thinks about a lot like making a huge romantic gesture towards you but they're scared of you I feel like like they they're afraid that you're gonna fight them off so for some of you guys there probably was something or some sort of conflict in this connection if not, one person really does feel the other person rejected. I feel it's more, they feel rejected by you. Um, this person, yeah, I definitely feel this person, if you guys are in no contact or whatever, they're definitely gonna take a different approach to this connection pretty soon. Cause I feel like whatever was working did not work in the past. And also whatever wasn't working may have had this connection fall apart or something. Let, we'll see a little bit more because I feel like there's a lot going on here. Your person as well, I feel pile number one has a lot of issues um, with themselves they have to work on. So I feel like a lot of what's going on in this connection is actually not personal. Like this person's very sensitive to rejection and it could also trigger some mental health problems for them. Like when they feel rejected, they, they kind of withdraw into like um, their own little space, regardless of if it's actually a rejection or not. They perceive rejection, I feel like quicker than a lot of people would. I feel like your person's very sensitive more than they put off. 
yeah i'm also feeling as well that you guys are really authentic individuals and this person honestly just wasn't ready for that breath of fresh air like they were ready for it but they weren't ready like they want to meet someone like you or they wanted to meet someone like you but they weren't ready for someone as real as you like this person is used to kind of putting on a mask or they're used to people that live a certain way so when you came in and was like boom like i'm different like they love that they love that about you but they also are afraid of that because it's like they're kind of a bit of a sellout and they need to walk away from that part of their personality um pile number one let's see what else is going on here all right so this person yeah yeah i really feel like they're frustrated with you right now pile number one i i picked that up already um and i feel like you guys in this connection like there needs to be communication because one person is really mad at the other um, another thing I do see here is that you guys are meant to meet because you both are probably artistic or creative or one person is in this um, union and I feel like it definitely triggers the other to be more creative, to be more expressive. I feel like you or them tend, tend to wear like a mask and I feel like with this connection, there's like no hiding how you feel. Like this person has to eventually come out and express themselves or you have to eventually come out and express yourself. But until then, one or the both of you guys are expressing yourself through your talents, through your music. And I feel like this person does want to connect with you or reconnect. Obviously, if this is more of a newer love, then I feel like this person just already overwhelmed by like emotion. But this person does really feel that you're beautiful. I'm also getting here that this person does feel like you're out of their league. And some of you guys do get a lot of attention because this is like probably the rock that standed out the most. Um, that stood out the most standing. Oh my gosh. That stood out the most between all these other rocks here. So for this person like you stood out the most to them like you are like the perfect person for them but i feel like they just felt like they weren't ready for that um when they met you and that's kind of like a big deal for them because they they want to come back and take and take a different approach but when they're ready because it's like i don't feel ready for this and not only that some of you guys this is an ex the hardest part for them is that they see that you're shining right now and you're glowing up so they're like okay if i come back into your life then i have to kind of step it up and if it's someone that you're just dating or seeing, same thing. Like they feel like you keep stepping it up, like you keep being real and they're afraid to be real and it scares them. And I feel like uh, emotions and feelings scare, scare them as well. Um, yeah, something definitely fell apart in this connection and I feel like you guys blame each other. And I feel like part of this connection is that you guys have to let go of this blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Like you have to accept responsibility for your own well-being and this person has to accept responsibility for their own well-being. I feel like you both at some point maybe were trying too hard to blame each other or fix each other or change each other at some points. And it's like this person also needs to take accountability. I feel like probably more than you do. I'm going to say it's more them because at first I feel like this person may have blamed you why things fell apart because they feel rejected by you. But it's probably their perception is what I'm getting at. And if you did reject this person at some point, they took it to heart, even if you had a reason for it. Um, harmony. Yeah, I'm feeling as well. Like some of you guys are just more shy or withdrawn or you're a little bit slow to open up. And this person's not used to that. They're used to kind of people gassing them up. So it's like they, they did take it to heart that maybe you didn't express your feelings towards them as much as they wanted you to. Uh, but I feel like you guys will have some sort of harmony in this connection. We also have the seventh house here. So I do feel like there will be or was a very important partnership in this connection. And I'm seeing as well. Yeah, we got Venus here and seventh house. Maybe you or them have Venus in the seventh house. Someone here is very attractive and gets a lot, a lot of attention and it intimidates the other person. And I feel somebody in this connection is very physically attractive. Um, this person feels you're very physically attractive. You may have some Venus traits or strong Venus placements. Um, I feel like this person... Um, yeah, I feel as though like, yeah, this person's just going to flow back to you. I feel because they're kind of like fighting the, they don't feel ready, but they're kind of fighting the flow of this connection pile. Number one, um, I feel with the page of pentacles here, this person does have a lot to learn in life. I feel they could be a little bit more immature than you are. And I'm seeing as well, this person could be, uh, you guys could have met in school or this person just like, or this person's like anti-school. One or the other, I feel honestly, both kind of came in, but either way, this person, like if you guys went to school together, then it's like. They feel like they can learn from you or you can help them or if you guys like some of you guys went to, went, to, went to some sort of school together like you know high school or something i'm seeing for some of you um so, or college but a lot of you guys this person just feels like um that they're kind of like they, they don't know a lot about the things that you know about and it kind of intimidates them but also it fascinates them they see you as very valuable um but yeah there was definitely some immaturities in this connection so let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, I, I really do get a good vibe here. And these romance angels is definitely backing me up because um, you guys, if, the, if this connection fell apart, um, you guys or them are probably working on yourselves outside of this connection. And you guys are probably praying, affirming, visualizing. And that's why you're getting this glow up here. Because whenever I use this stone, I always think like 
this person is really shining right now and this is this is the stone that stands out the most and i actually love this one too so no bias but i feel like you guys are praying affirming and visualizing and it's bringing this person towards you and this person has a lot of feelings and a lot of passion for you and honestly it overwhelms them so that's why they have to kind of redo their approach towards you or you got to redo your approach towards them somebody's got to redo something here um, I really feel like someone felt rejected here. That's really the main factor, and that's why one party really needs to kind of pick themselves up and and recover from this, like, honestly. And I see as well with, with the sun here, like, this person really, like, you make this person so happy, and I feel like that's why, like, when things did not work out between the two of you, like, it, it definitely caused them to, like, the sun to be, like, out of their life. Like, you're, like, the sun of this person's life, and this person's really inspired by you. And I feel like you make this person feel free and happy, that they can be themselves around you. Like you're the one person they don't have to put a mask on um, behind closed doors, I'm hearing. The Hierophant is here and Ten of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like this was a divinely orchestrated type of connection. And again, this person does kind of see you as a mentor and someone that can help them build stability in their life. And I feel with the Ten of Pentacles here, like you guys do have a chance at this. This seems like a really genuine connection. There is some like karmic lessons here in this connection, but I definitely feel like there is future potential because we have the chariot here as well, and it shows me that this person does want to move towards you like full speed. This person could have some cancer in their chart. They also could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. And I'm also seeing that this person, yeah, they definitely have some strong earth, and I'm seeing air signs, you were them. Someone here definitely needs to kind of just face, like take off this mask. Like, And I feel like this connection was that you both can take off this mask. Like you both wear a mask in some sort of way, in, in some sort of like walk of life. Like maybe one person's afraid of being vulnerable and the other person's afraid of being themselves or something. But I feel like you guys kind of encourage each other because the traits that you don't like about this person are probably things that you've worked on already or that you need to work on. And I feel like this is some sort of mirroring. And yeah, I really feel like this is just not the right time because this person was not ready for you. Like pile number one, they were not ready to be hit by this wave of realness. Like that's honestly what I'm getting at. This person, um, I feel like they, they must have, there must be someone in their family or some sort of background or tradition in their family that prevents them. Like they want to impress like a parent or something still like, or they want to impress people around them too much. There's just something going on here where they need to be their true selves. And it's not that they're embarrassed of you or anything like that. I just feel like you're just so real and authentic. You call this person out on their stuff all the time and they just weren't ready for it. So this person had a, uh, oh, they, <laughs> they had like an awakening almost like with you coming into their life and it took them off a different path that they just were not ready for. But in their soul, I feel like they do know that like this connection is very special. We got trust and not the right time. So we know that this connection is going to eventually come together. But I feel like right now you guys are both working on yourself. I'm going to get some final messages about this connection because it's very interesting. But this person definitely finds you very physically attractive. And also another thing too, this person may feel like they have to put on a show to impress you because I feel like this person believes that you're out of their league or something like that. Pile number one. What else do I see here? Yeah, Ace of Cups. I'm really feeling like for a lot of you guys, this is like this person could have had relationships before or some of you guys are young. This is like a first love for some or like an over like this person in relationships in the past, they played it safe, you know, but you give this person an overwhelming amount of emotions and you excite them and they're going to offer you something with this Ace of Cups here. And I feel like for those that this relationship that just had a falling out, like there's a new beginning here. You represent like um, change in this person's life. You represent and they love how like independent and successful you guys are or like uh, eccentric different like you're just not like anybody else and they think that you're so beautiful and the queen of wands came out when i said that so yeah you guys can have some fire in your chart as well but yes yeah, for things you're incredibly sexy gorgeous and i actually feel like as well like this person like you guys might get like a lot of attention maybe you don't notice but i think you guys get a lot of attention from the opposite gender and that also scares this person a lot because they know they have to step it up um, we got the page of wands here. Yeah, this person's definitely going to try to connect with you if they have it already. Like they're going to try to hit you up. And, yeah, page of cups. But I see there's a lot of pages here. So it seems like this person does have like a lot of immaturities and I feel like that can really bother you. But I do feel like this person is going to try to grow up a little bit. We got the high priestess here. You guys definitely have a spiritual connection with this person. And I feel like you just feel their energy still. And I feel it's because this person still really can't keep their eyes off of you. But yeah, this person just wasn't ready for whatever this is here. We got the two of cups here though. So I do see that you guys will reconcile or get together in the right timing for the two of you. And what other lesson are you guys learning here in this connection unity? So I feel like you guys are supposed to come together eventually. So, but I feel like honestly, 
the odds were against you guys when you met. Like there was a lot of factors that were challenging and testing this relationship. And this person definitely needs to kind of face the music and take off their mask is really what I'm hearing. And that's part of their karma. And you guys definitely are the one to show them that it's okay to be themselves. Like that's what I'm seeing for pile number one. Let's get a final message here. Also, there's a work connection as well. It's like either directly or indirectly, someone inspires the other one with work. So maybe this person wants to impress you. So they're working really hard with the Jupiter energy or you guys are really creative and you're channeling like what you're going through in your career and your music. There's something like that connects to like this Jupiter energy. This person may be like really into their work as well, but I feel like you're part of the reason why they want to work on themselves. So you really do inspire this person, pile number one. And yeah, they feel rejected. And this person, um, even if you didn't reject them, I feel like if you guys broke up, like even if it was like, it, there had to be some sort of falling out or something, I feel, or some sort of um, thing that happened that they felt re was rejection that triggered the relationship to end, I feel like. They felt really rejected, I feel like, when you guys fell out or fell off. This is an ex. Now, this is a new person that they just, they just shy, like they just feel like you're gonna reject them. They're afraid of being rejected. So if you really feel like this, you did not reject this person, then it's the fear of, of being rejected by you because they really, really like you and they feel like if you reject them, they're not gonna recover. I'm getting a shy energy. Even this person is outgoing. Like when it comes to their feelings, they're shy because you are the only person they really that really fills up their cup in this way. And they're like, if this cup spills, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like that's honestly what I feel here. So this person sounds like they're sweet too. I don't, I don't see anything too much uh, bad coming out here. Just a lot of fear. Um, let's get some final messages and then we're going to move on to my pile number two people. Last messages for my pile number one. This is my other romance deck. I'm probably going to eventually turn this one into a, um, a deck for Etsy, but I got to work on the art on this one. Yeah, slow and steady. So this person definitely is has some Knight of Pentacles energy too. Like you, you gotta give them some time. They, they gotta get themselves together, but they're coming, you know? And um, yeah, this person's actually kind of addicted to you. So I feel like you, you really do inspire them. And yeah, this person knows that you have high standards. So it's like, they either gotta raise their standards in this. I mean, you gotta raise your standards. What am I saying? They gotta, they gotta raise the bar to your standard. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm pound number one, woo. But you know what I'm saying? Or someone feels like someone's gotta step it up here. You were them, like someone does feel that way. But deep down, this person is devoted. I'm actually hearing like, is that Greece hope, hopelessly devoted to you? Like, that's what I'm hearing. This person's like a hopeless romantic for you. And I'm also hearing, um, uh, what's the other, stu I'm stupid for you. This person feels like, am I stupid to go after this person? Because they honestly feel like you are so like ad out of their league that you can crush their heart in a million pieces. And I'm seeing as well, like, yeah, this person's just afraid that this connection won't last. Like, that's honestly their biggest fear. And this person as well is afraid they can't keep up with you. Like, they won't have enough money for you or they don't have enough time for you like this person is truly truly overwhelmed by this connection so that's what i'm seeing for my pile number one person this person will reach out to you but i feel like page of cups um if they did something wrong it's gonna be like oh like a half apology or you know not like a full grand gesture like some of you guys are expecting and if they didn't do anything wrong and it's more like urine this person's gonna hit you up slyly like i feel like um like a just a hey what's up like something casual but there's a lot of emotion behind it like so that's what i'm seeing for my pile number one person um that's what the message for you guys and yeah i would say take it easy with this person because they are going to be still in like or they are in a defensive energy um until like they kind of let down their walls again or at all if this is a new person they need some time to let their walls down okay so be patient with them is what i'm hearing don't push this person as well like let them lead all right so that's what i see for pile number one let's move on to pile number two and let's see what is going on in this connection with your person uh, first of all, this person loves like water being by the beach, I feel like, or this person wants to take a vacation with you, I'm feeling. This person fantasizes a lot about you and this person, like if you're a guy or girl, they picture like, I don't know why I'm getting this, but they picture like you buy the, like they picture you in a bikini or some of you guys have bikini photos on your Instagram or some of you guys have like really like summery beachy photos that you're posting. This person is definitely watching your social media uh, pile number two. I'm getting they're watching you. And I'm getting something like, I'm getting, I don't know, water, something around water. So maybe this person or you, someone lives around a body of water possibly. Or just the fact of the matter is like someone took a vacation and there's like some sort of picture someone's looking at. Regardless of that, this person thinks you're really cool. Like they think that you are just like really down to earth, really funny I'm hearing. They love your sense of humor. Um, let me see what else is going on here for my pile number two people. All right, pile number two. Let's see what's going on. All right, so this person's really, really stubborn. I feel like you could have said something that hurt this person's feelings or they could have hurt your feelings. Um, this person is really stubborn, pound number one. Wow, I feel like it's just like when you want to tell them something, like they just shut their ears off. This person can have a listening problem. 
<laughs> okay, so pile number one, right off the bat, this connection exists because somebody here needs to strengthen their listening skills. And I'm, I'm feeling like it's this person. Like you guys have something very valuable to teach this person, but they need to open up their ears and listen to you because they're very, very stubborn. This person could be born on the 18th or 18. You could have met at that age or one or eight is significant to the connection. This person is a bit of a workaholic as well. This person in you, like this person is very, very sexually attracted to you guys. Like that's definitely what draws them in. They love your body and everything like that. I'm seeing as well. Yeah. This person also may be a really bad communicator. Yeah. Okay. For bottom number two, like this person really likes you, but they are the worst communicator in the world. And that makes things very, very, very difficult. And I feel like we got this, it's safe for you to love, keep an open mind. Like this person is not a bad person, pile number one at all, but I feel like they're, they are challenging because they're really hard to communicate with. Like, and I feel like this person definitely messed up at some point with this connection. Yeah, this person messed up because we got this I effed up card over here. This person has been thinking about you a lot lately and I feel like it's because uh, they really respect you, honestly, pile number one. like. I mean, pile number two, sorry, this person really respects you, but I feel like early on, they did not respect you enough in this connection. Like that's the vibe I'm getting here. And I feel like it's because this person just did not know how to act. And this person does not have really good self-esteem and it's the root of like a lot of what went on this connection. And honestly, pile number two, I feel like when you met this person, some of you guys could be suffering a little bit with your self-worth or self-esteem. And I feel like the way this person treated you was not okay. And I feel like a lot of you guys cut this person off or you told them no. And it was part of a lesson for you guys to not accept the lesson you deserve or vice versa for this person. You know, it depends on the connection, but something tells me that early in this, I've heard early in this connection, this, this person messed up early on and they know that and like they respect you now. So something you did in this connection changed like the way they treat you. But keep in mind that this person has an issue in general, like, I feel like it's not like they just did, don't respect you. It's just they didn't respect, like, they don't know how to date properly or whatever, you know? But I feel like you guys, like, definitely showed this person, like, something different. And they really, you earn their respect. And they know they messed up. This person's trying to be brave. And, but, like, this person, I feel they're kind of afraid that you're, you're going to fight with them, I'm hearing. Um, this person's trying to be brave because they honestly, <laughs> this person, crazy enough, this person has empathetic traits like and i feel like some of you guys are like no way or some of you guys are like yes i know this, this is my person but this person is actually an empath and um it may not seem like it this person does not act right i feel like in public or they don't act like it at all they act kind of like a jerk sometimes but it's actually because they are very highly sensitive i'm actually getting like they could have a rising sun or moon cancer pisces or scorpio like this person is very very sensitive to energy and people and i feel like as well like they, they have a hard time being honest, like with the way that they feel about you guys. And I really feel like this person does like, you're like the star to this person. Honestly, like you, you really inspire this person. And, um, this person as well, pile number two, they feel like you're just out of this world. You're out of their league, like everything, all of the above. They really messed up in this connection because we do have the failure here. Like this person knows that they didn't do something right. Like I really, some of you guys are wondering, like this person knows that they messed up. They do. And you're like, why don't they just say what they mean? Like, why can't they just tell me this? I messed up. Well, could be a lot of things. Could be ego, could be pride, could be um, the fact that they just can't communicate with you guys are out of contact right now. Um, but I do feel like something you guys said or did Pile number two, definitely set this person on some sort of transformation or inner growth. This is good. And this person could have cancer or Gemini in their chart strong. They could be an air sign or water sign. Like I said, I heard specifically cancer moon. Um, and I wanted to say that, but now I'm really saying it because I see the cancer card or Gemini moon, um, Gemini rising. Just, just strong cancer or Gemini placements for this person in it. I feel like they have like a lot of emotion, but they don't have the ability to express that. So some of you guys, I'm, I'm seeing a few scenarios. Like some of you guys, this person's in your friend zone. You guys are friends with benefits and they cannot get the relationship to the next level. And they keep messing it up and they keep letting you down and not being what you need them to be. Or some of you guys, like you guys were like together, but this person messed up and it's like, now it's just like, what, what now they want more than like what you guys have. And obviously if you lost contact and they want to talk to you, but some of you guys, it's just like, this person really does believe that love will keep you guys together though. They do believe that in their heart, but I feel like, hey, yeah, for a lot of you guys, it's like for a while, they just weren't sure what they were feeling and they weren't sure how to express it. But now they know that like love will keep you guys together. Um, I definitely feel like conflicts in this connection made this person feel not sure, but they really do miss you. And I'm getting this person does not like conflict at all. So it's like they perceive 
I kind of feel like this person may have some like unhealthy views on relationships. Either they, they weren't in a lot of them or they were just in a relationship that was comfortable in their life and it wasn't like challenging at all for them. So it's like conflict to them is like, oh, this is toxic or bad, but not necessarily. This person needs to know that like sometimes arguments and fights are healthy in connections. And that's what I'm kind of seeing here. So this person like may have saw a bit of conflict or you may have argued with this person. And, and I think they like that about you, but it also scares them because it's like they're not used to that. And they like to keep the peace. They may have some Libra traits um, or Aquarius, um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I'm seeing error. They might like to keep the peace or they are a peacekeeper of some kind. Um, this person is fantasizing about you, but with the Nine of Swords here, this person is like living in their head. They have a lot of anxiety. Um, that's what I'm seeing. So I feel like this person, honestly, like um, pile number two, um, this person's like trying to fantasize about like how this is going to work out between the two of you. Like how is this going to work? because of the conflict, but they really miss you so much. And I really do feel like for a lot of you guys, they're trying to play it off like they don't. We got the five of swords here. And this person can play a bit of mind games. Oh, we got the seven of swords here. Sheesh, why? Okay, we got the six of pentacles. Um, hmm, hmm. Yeah, honestly, this person, um, they I feel like they really care about you. And to be honest, like this person may have came off deceptive or they may have came off like, they didn't have the best intentions, but honestly, they're kind of they're kind of a like a kind person. I feel like something could have just happened where they weren't being honest about something. I don't know. Something happened in this connection that made them look bad, and they regret that because it's like that's not who I am. Like that's what I'm hearing. Like I'm not this person. So I feel like this person is going through a self transformation right now, where they're like, why, why did I do that? Like that's not who I am. So they must have did something to you, or you guys were triggered, where you feel like, why did I do that? That's not who I am. But to say what I mean, like someone has to come out and really say what they mean here. And I feel like this person is holding back a lot of emotions pile number two and they're about to let loose you know depending on wherever you're at in this connection and honestly this person was like okay like this person is a type of person like the grass is greener on the other side maybe i can do better you know they're looking at their other options right but at the same time we got worth waiting for and keep an open mind this person tried to like keep an open mind i feel like or you you or them like walked away from this connection thinking like the grass was greener but I feel like somebody got a rude awakening. Whoever walked away that thought the grass was greener, they got a real rude awakening. That's what I'm hearing. They got a rude awakening because we got the six of cups here and we got the, the high priestess. So like there's an intuitive knowing that this person is going to come right back to you if you guys already are, if you guys aren't in communication already, like this person is coming right back to you. And I feel like with the two of cups, we got, a, oh wow, this is actually really beautiful. <laughs> I'm like, this is a happy ending here. We got the two of cups. We got the, the, um, the 10 of cups. The six of cups and the high priestess. So it's like, you guys kind of know like that this is meant to be like, or this person knows this is meant to be. So whoever walked away from this connection, it wasn't because there wasn't love here. It was almost because it, I almost hear it's like, they thought maybe there was someone else better for you, or you thought maybe there was someone else better suited for them or someone didn't feel, there was like, there was a genuine intention. So seven of swords energy, like somebody, somebody felt like the other person snuck away or, or was deceptive or disappeared. But honestly, it's like this person didn't, they probably felt like you didn't see their value or something like that. It wasn't that bad. I feel like somebody was just trying to do what they thought was best at the time, right? So I feel like there's going to be a reconciliation here. And it's like, this person needs to keep an open mind about this connection because I feel like they may have lost hope, but there's still a chance. And I feel like if this person's the one who walked away, they're going to have a, an awakening moment where they're like, mm -mm, like, I, I should have never done that. King of Pentacles. And also, yeah, this person was like, um... I don't know why, but I have like, guess, guess he gave you the, I heard like, I guess he gave you the things I couldn't give to you. Like this person, someone may have walked away for another, to another connection, but it's like this person thought like maybe they let you go maybe because they thought someone could give to you what they couldn't. They knew they couldn't give you what you wanted, but this person realized they're like, wait a minute, no, or, you know, or, you know, one of you guys just thought you can do better, but somebody decided to step it up. They're coming up as King of Pentacles here. So, um, this person is trying to make you a solid offer, honestly, pound number two. And with, yeah, there's going to be, this person's weighing the pros and cons, I feel like. <laughs> All right, with, they, they don't want to let you go. That's point blank period. I feel like someone here has a big ego, but at the end of the day, they don't want to let you go. It's like, hmm. But I feel like this person's realizing that they messed up here. And I feel at first, they, they probably did not take any accountability. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, now this person, this person walked away or you walked away. But now somebody's worried that that they can't come back, but they want to come back. And that's what I'm seeing here. And obviously, if you're in communication with this person, then all these thoughts are going in their mind. Like, that's what I'm feeling. But 
but I'm feeling like with this King of Pentacles, it's like they do want to offer you something. It's just they're having a really hard time saying what they mean. So for a lot of you guys, it's like someone just cannot communicate their feelings, but they're there. They're there. And this person does not want to let you go. So a lot of you guys are wondering, like, why won't this person go? Like, why won't they disappear? Like, why do they keep coming back? You know, because they really do love you. It's just like they can't express it, like, honestly. And Eight of Pentacles, they're actually really trying to work on themselves for you. And that's something they don't show you. So that's what I'm seeing for my pile number um, two people. I'm seeing this person keeps writing and deleting messages. Um, there's a lot of lessons in this connection. And I feel like the, somebody transformed through some sort of um, hurt in this connection. And that's what's significant about it. And I'm seeing as well that this person, um, I feel like they're, you and them are destined for success. And I feel this relationship kind of triggers growth in, in the both of you. And I really feel like someone walked away and, and started to work on themselves so that they can be the person that, that I feel like this person wants to be the person that you need them to be. And I feel like that's where they're at right now. Regardless of what happened in the past, they're trying to be the person that you want them to be. But you know, I, you or them walked away thinking the grass was greener. And if you walked away, maybe the grass was greener. Maybe they weren't acting right, you know, and they realized that they're like, I want to be the green grass for you. So this is what I'm seeing for my pile number two people. You will have a happy ending here. The high priestess, some of you guys are like, why can't I let go? Well, there's still this connection here, honestly. So that's what I'm seeing for my pile number two people. Do hope you guys like this message. And yes, this person finds you so attractive. Um, honestly, for a lot of you guys, I feel like that's another reason why they keep coming back because they really find you so hot. And there's a physical aspect. You're definitely the hottest person they've ever like been into or dated as well. So you guys can brag about that. <laughs> All right, let's move on to pile number three. And let's see what your person is thinking and feeling about you. Um, pile number three, your person misses you a lot, I'm hearing. This person also thinks that you're a star. They think you're really talented. Um, this person really thinks that you are... I feel like this person definitely has some sort of talent themselves. This person likes your eye color too, I'm hearing, or your hair. I'm getting like this person definitely feels like you are very aesthetically beautiful. And this person just thinks that like, yeah, I'm really getting this person really loves their hair or your eyes. Something like that is what's coming through. Let's see what else is going on for pile number three people. What is going on here? I'm not sure what part of that pile these cards are. All right, pile number three. What's going on? All right, so your person definitely is a bit hard-headed. They're coming up as the king of swords, so I feel like this person definitely is thinking, thinking, thinking a lot about you. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so your person, pile number um three, they have a lot of regrets in this connection, I feel like, because... We got jealousy and regret here hmm. and commitment. I feel with this connection, pile number three, someone someone is very jealous here, like, and it really affected the connection. There's, yeah, there's a lot of passion in this connection, but I'm going to get it right off the bat, pile number three. It feels as though somebody does, did not want to settle down in this connection, you or them. It feels like them. I'm going to go with them. But I feel like, yeah, we got the king of wands reversed, yeah. Your person definitely... Um, really likes you but i feel like they have a commitment problem like and it may not be stemming from just like not settling with other women or men it could just be like because they were hurt in the past they have a hard time staying still or staying in a relationship also this person is very passionate about something in life and i feel like they put that before everything else so that could be from like their video games to like their life mission you know like from something minute depending on the individual to something grand you know and i feel like this person you have to respect what their passions are because that's what that's what they put first, I feel like, over everything else. And I feel like, also, there was a lot of transformation in this connection, or there is a lot of transformation. Uh-huh, okay, so I'm definitely feeling like an ex here, pile number three. Or this is somebody that you, from your past, or someone you've known a while. If this is not an ex, then this person is just like, what's going on in this connection? This person is dealing with a lot. Like, honestly, they just are really focused on career, their passions. And if you just met this person and they have no reason to be jealous or feeling crazy, it's because this person is like, I really feel like career driven and they're like very jealous of people possibly, or they could be like very like, yeah, I feel like they can compare themselves to others a lot or something like they're very driven in their career. Like I really feel like that's, or something like competitive in their job. And I feel like that kind of takes over a lot of who they are. Um, I'm seeing that. Uh, let's see what else is going on here in this connection. So this person thinks you're very, um, successful we got the empress too so yeah your person really does like you guys um but i feel like this is one of those connections where this person's like they have they're dealing with something like could be an addiction problem too i just feel like this like this, like this pile feels like a very distracting energy coming in here like a whirlwind and i feel like this person like they kind of messed up their opportunity with you i feel and i feel like they know this as well we got the two of swords here it's like there was a window for this person 
to like come in and really like step it up but they kind of miss that opportunity and you guys are over here you know not taking any garbage you're coming up as the queen of pentacles here and you're very some of you guys can give you earth signs just like you're and also taurus energy with the empress here you guys definitely are focused and, and driven and solid and it's like this person was like yeah you really mean the world to this person this person's coming up as the knight of pentacles so it's like this person will come in with an offer for you guys but I feel like for some of you guys, you just kind of feel like this person, ugh, they missed the mark a little bit, you know? Um, I really feel like this person wants to start over and they want to get a second chance in this connection. This feels like, okay, if this is a new person, um, I really feel like for pile number three, this person will pursue you, but down the line. It was just funny because I have gotten this message like about somebody I liked like two years ago because I've been reading cards on here for a minute and I would like, you know, pick piles for myself and I would get this message and I was like, Eh, it, it didn't resonate, you know, and this person did come back like, like, like a while, while, while later, like more than you would even think. And I kind of don't want to talk about people on my YouTube channel because I feel like they're going to watch me, but like a couple of years, like three years almost, you know, and it's happened a few times. So that's that Knight of Pentacles energy. Like this person is still coming, but they're taking their sweet time. And I feel like sometimes it's just, see, I like you for a really long time. So it's like, if you just met this person, I feel like that's probably what's going to happen. They're going to like you for a really long time, but just not be ready because they're dealing with something. And I feel like it has to do with their passions and that's what they're focused on right now. But it's like, they will see your value, but it might just be too late, pound number three. Like that's the vibe I'm getting here. And for some of you, you've known this person for a while and you're like, why are they coming around now? Well, it's your turn. This person finally is coming forward. You know, if they are acting accordingly and trying to ask you to hang out, Yes, they liked you for a really, really long time, pile number three, and they're trying to they're trying to get in on that, you know? This person, when you met them, they were they were going through a lot, honestly. This person could have been in healing from family issues or just like some sort of addiction problem or aspect work. Doesn't matter. There was some sort of aspect of themselves that made them not available to you guys. So I feel like they're gonna realize what they lost. Some of you guys are they're realizing it now, especially if they're coming towards you. <laughs> we got the no card. And it's funny because for a lot of you guys, it's like you're just like no to this person or you said no to this person and you moved on and they're going to come towards you though um this person may have said no to you a lot of you guys maybe this person said no to you or you feel like they said no to you for a relationship but i feel like you guys are just going to keep moving and this person is definitely going to be like wait wait let's start over you know that's that's the vibe i'm getting for this for this pile then we have this wild card here your angels are saying like you're supposed to be going having fun going wild right now with your life and this person like i feel like they when you meet them, they're not in a settling energy. Or when you met them, they were not in a settling energy. So it's like this this connection happened so that you guys can realize, you know, F it, I'm just going to have fun. Like, that's the vibe I felt coming out of this pile. Um, also, this person came into your life, or if you recently met them, your angels are trying to show you that, you know, this person is not going to fill your void, but they are here to teach you a valuable lesson. And honestly, this is a connection that is going to last. Like, I feel like you and this person are going to be talking for a while, but I feel like it might be a while till they offer you what you want, but they are going to offer you it. Like, that's what I'm seeing. Whether or not you still want it when they do, it's a different story. And for those that are coming to this reading, because this is your story and this person's finally offering you this, it's like, okay, you guys can take the offer if you want. Like, that's what the angels are saying, but it's going to come eventually. Like, that's what's going on in this connection. And the, the, the funniest thing about this connection is that when you meet this person, you're, you're going to have this, like, hole in your soul that you're going to feel like you need them almost. But then as time goes by, you're going to realize you don't need them at all. And so when they do come back, it's gonna you're going to have a fresher perspective. Some of you guys will be with this person, but it's like they weren't fulfilling you. They weren't going to fulfill you like you originally thought. And you're going to see that as time goes by. And that's a really important lesson to learn. Um, this person wants to go on a trip to you or they want to travel to you. Some of you guys, you moved away from this person or when you move away from this person, it might trigger them to come towards you. Um, some of you guys as well, like getting to know each other in chemistry, like this person enjoys truly getting to know you. Um, and you really do excite them. You're always on their mind. And I feel like if this person is contacting you and you guys are talking right now, they love getting to know you. And the chemistry, I feel like on their side will never die out. Um, on your side, it might. Because <laughs> I feel like you might just get sick of this person waiting around for them, honestly. This person also is to teach you to love yourself and balance. I feel like this person was very imbalanced or is very imbalanced depending on where you're at in this timeline. And you guys are realizing like, eh, I don't know about this person. You're going to notice like, 
you're going to notice with this person, like the imbalances of like the way that they act, you know, you're going to notice that they're not balanced and it's going to probably bother you. Like they do things in excess or they have a problem or they work in excess or they drink in excess or they, they do something that's imbalanced. And not, I feel like you guys are realizing mm -mm, this is not what I want. There must've been something wrong with me. If I want this person, like something like that, I'm getting like some, some of you guys, like this person's on a journey too. I, I really feel like you guys, this person, if you guys fall out like you will still be friends for a while like I, I get like a long like karmic thing here like pile number three honestly and yeah with the roots here you really do feel at home with this person there there is a soul connection here this person is part of your soul family to an extent but I do feel like they have some demons and I feel like that affects them being who they really need to be so if you just met this person I I presume that they're not going to 100% give you what you want but down the line they're going to be like let's start over and for some of you guys who've known this person for a long period of time and you're wondering why are they coming towards me now they want to start over that that's what they really want and I feel like this person had a hole in their soul where they didn't see your value at first or they didn't they didn't understand like why you were in their life and they had other things they felt were more important their passions but then they're going to realize oh okay like you know this Okay, so you guys, the interesting thing about you guys is that you felt like, or you feel like, you know, that this person can fill this void, right? And this person feels like whatever this passion of theirs is going to fill their void. You guys probably both are going to come to that realization that nothing fills the void. You have to heal that, that hole, you know, and this person's on that, that journey and so are you. And I feel like some of you guys is going to line up perfectly. And that's what I'm seeing here in this soul connection. Ooh, we went deep today, um, extremely deep. And then we have the gratitude here. This person is definitely very grateful to meet you this person really really likes you they look up to you they respect you i i feel like all good things here but i feel like some of you guys are ended up saying no to this person that's why we have the no here because you're just gonna be like no 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 let me get another card here because i am interested pile number three choose a new direction yeah i feel like this is two things if you just met this person you're gonna realize nah i gotta choose a new direction this person has too much going on and for those that like this person is coming back. This person realized that they had to choose a new direction away from their unhealthy lifestyle to come towards you, you know, depending on where you're at in this timeline. So let me know what part of this timeline resonates. And for those that like just met this person, well, I feel like this is the universe saying, you know, start focusing on you and this person will come towards you when the timing is right. And I see as well, be assertive. You have to be assertive with this person as well. Um, don't take their garbage. And I'm hearing as well, we got a yes here. So yeah, the angels are saying yes. Like if you want this connection, you'll get it eventually, but it's going to be like a little bit of a long journey here. Um, you guys overall have big happy changes come into your life, pile number three. And this person does represent that, like because they trigger you towards change. We got the devil here. Yeah, this person's dealing with something, you know, like the devil uh, four of cups. That's what I'm saying. It's like this person has some sort of addiction that they value or something that they value over a genuine connection. And that's a tough karma for them. So if they end up losing you and things, and it becomes too late for that connection, that's going to be a lesson for them. And that's, then you're their karma, you know, or for some of you guys, like, I feel like you might take the offer and realize it's not all it's cracked out to be. <laughs> all right, pile number three, I'm going in a little too deep. Um, but let me know, like what's going on in this connection? What's your story with this person? And yeah, for the, some of you guys where this person is, is, is coming towards you out of the blue, well, I'll let you know that they, they face this devil and they're like, they realize they messed up this connection. They want to start all over again. And for the new people, I'd say, you know, be careful because this person does have something they're dealing with and they're going to have to figure that out before they can give you what you want. So that's what I'm seeing for my pile number three people. We got a very interesting, interesting message. Love it. All right, let's move on to pile number four and let's see what your person is thinking and feeling about you. Ooh, honestly, pile number four, I got like a, I don't know where these cards are coming from over there. I'll leave it. <laughs> All right, so pile number four. All right, these cards wanna come out, let them come out. I'll just put more of these down here. All right, pile number four. I got like a, a surge of excitement when this pile came. So I feel like you guys might wanna watch pile number eight too, maybe for somebody else or for this person because if eight also calls to you, like I, that pile just wanted to get in on this pile. Uh, there could be like something going on over there, but we'll figure it out. All right, pile number four. Um, this person is so, so excited. Like my heart jumped when I picked this pile. Like, ooh, pile number four. Like this person is so excited when they think about you. Like you get, this is just the second, in my opinion, flashiest stone. So, or if not, this stone stood out the most to you guys. And this person, like, again, like you really stick out of a crowd for this person. You are like the type of person that they could not even imagine themselves meeting. I heard better than I can even imagine. Like they really thought like this person, if you ask this person to, to dream up their dream person, you are like something that they couldn't even fathom. So when you came into their life in a good way, it's like, this is my dream person, but like even better than I even thought. Like, and I feel like this person's a bit like, um, 
I don't know if they're like nerdy or they're like intellectual, but they're like, this is better than I thought. Like, I don't know why I heard it like that, but I think it's funny. Like they may say like, it's better than I even thought it could be. Like that's what I'm hearing for this person. And they're super, super excited that you're in their life. Even if they don't show it to you, that's what I'm hearing. We got the yes exclamation point. Like this person's like, yes. Like when they think about you, when you text them, yes, they get so excited. Their heart skips um, and you're ready. Like I feel like, okay, we got patience here. So there's a few messages here. If this is a new love, like this is a really good sign for you guys because I feel like this is the type of person that they've been waiting for. You're the type of person that they've been waiting for or you're the type of person that they've been waiting for. If this is an ex or someone you had a falling out with, they're waiting for you. You know, patience is here. This connection is teaching you to have faith. You guys might be seeing 222, 313, 303, 223, 223. Like, I feel like you and this person were meant to kind of meet. And um, yeah, it's one one of you guys are really creative as well. And I feel like this person is very inspired by you. You excite this person. Like, I really feel like you excite them so much. Um, Knight of Cups, yeah. This person may have been a sweet talker, a very charming, very romantic. This person is like um, a hopeless romantic I'm hearing as well, even if they don't show it. Um, this person, like if you guys went out, like met at a party or drinking and they love like, like something about a memory with you guys, like being out together, having drinks together, or if you don't drink, then like something about you guys being out together somewhere, but just you and them, like this person as well. Um, I'm hearing it's just me and you in a crowded room. Like this person feels like they could be in the world's most crowded room, like filled with celebrities or something, but like you're the only person they have their eyes on. Like this is the type of energy I'm feeling. And this person, like I feel... Yeah, something about like the way you guys met or something like this person like thinks about it a lot, a lot, like a lot. Like that's what I'm seeing. Um, let me see what else is going on here. All right, we got the emperor. So whenever I see the emperor here, it's like this person is planning on never leaving your life. So if for whatever reason you're out of contact with this person or something happened here, they're still watching you from afar. And this person feels, I hear like fatherly towards you. Like they feel like... They're watching you and and also this person has a very stern side to them. They could have some Saturn placements or um, Capricorn placements as well or um, they could have some water placements too. Um, this person, um, but they also, have, I see Gemini, Aries. I see a lot of different energies here. This person has a lot um, to their personality. There, there's a lot that meets the eye with this individual. Um, if you guys are not talking, this person's holding back, I feel like for now. Um, let me see, yeah, there's a past life connection. That makes so much sense. Because this person, like, right off the bat, they were so, like, from the moment they met you, they were, like, so excited to meet you. And I feel like it's, like, a past life. And I feel like in a past life, like, this person idealized you in a past life. Like, I honestly feel like, because I got, like, my false idol card, which is about, like, you know, someone not being, like, what you thought they were, looking up to something that may not be true or may not be the best, you know, of situation. A false idol is just, like, something that, you know, this person idolizes, but it wasn't what, what... It wasn't really like what you thought it was. Does that make sense? I'm like butchering the meaning of this card, but I'm trying to interpret it in a way which is like makes sense in the situation because also you may notice with this person, they may have had like a lot of false idols that they looked up to and then they realized like this person was not what they cracked out to be. Or this person may tell you like that they learned like, oh, I always wanted to be like this person. And then I realized they weren't what they were cracked out to be, you know, or this person is learning in their life that like you should not idolize anyone. And honestly, um, pile number four, I feel like this person idealizes you. like, And they're going to learn not to do that because you're human. And I feel like that could be the reason why if you're not in contact or if you had a falling out with this person, that you guys aren't together. Because I think that they idealized you in a way. Like they must have been a past life or something. And it may have fell apart because I feel like you guys are like, I'm not perfect. So if something went wrong in this connection, then this person really like... I feel like this person was extremely hard on you or vice versa. You guys could have idealized the connection with them. And then when it wasn't what it was cracked out to be, it could have fell apart. But this person is definitely watching you guys on social media. If you're dating this person right now or you guys are talking, this person is like, honestly, this person really, really likes you like a lot. Like they get so excited to be around you. So excited to hang out with you. Butterflies. You give this person the butterflies I'm hearing. The third house energy is like social media. This person like is so they watch everything you do. Even if they're not even liking your stuff, like they watch everything you do, pile number four. All right, let's see what's going on with my Alice deck because so many wanted to come out here. Yeah, I feel like if you just met this person, like there could be something that happens in this connection. Like it can get messy for whatever reasons, personal problems, whatever, past life issues. But I feel like it's meant to kind of resolve itself. So if something goes wrong in this connection, pile number four, there's really nothing to worry about. I I'm hearing from my angels because you guys are kind of meant to kind of work it out. And I'm hearing as well, with the treat yourself in the first house energy, 
you inspire this person to put themselves first and this person is in your life to inspire you to like put yourself first and vice versa like i feel like this person and you are both meant to put yourselves first when you meet each other so it's difficult because you both are going to really like each other but you're both going to have a lot of things to work on personally when you when you meet each other or when you met each other or whatever and i feel like yeah see my this person okay so yeah okay if this is an ex they're coming in they're coming in because they're didn't I say something about them like being lost in the memories here? Like, like thinking about you so much, like about they're thinking about a memory with you. And I and I got this card here and I knew it. Like, I see this person like thinking over a memory. Like, do you ever guys ever see the TikTok? Like, post the memory where you knew you were in love. This person has that if you ask them that moment, they have that moment where they knew that they were they were in love with you, or they knew that they liked you. They have that moment if you ask them. I, I'm pretty sure. Like even if they don't say it, like they, it could be the moment they could idolize the moment they met you. They, this person still idealizes you. And I feel like they have to kind of take it down a notch, but also at the same time, it's like their intentions were selfish. And I feel like they didn't, I feel like this person could be very selfish because it's like they idolize you. And it's like, it's like, that's a very hard pedestal to put someone on. And it's like, it's almost selfish because it's like, they don't allow you to be human. I'm hearing, or you don't feel human sometimes because it's like too much or vice versa. Maybe you guys, may idolize this person a little too much or, or whatever. Um, I'm going to get more information though, but I want to say one thing. This person really does want to take care of you. They want to help you. They really do care about you. And I'm really getting a nice energy here. And if this is your ex, like they can't get over you. They want to get back together and they're planning on calling you. So if you guys lost contact with this person, they constantly, constantly, constantly like are checking their phone for you. And this person, yeah, I really get that this person needed to grow up or needs to grow up because the children card came out reverse and my intentions are selfish. Like, I feel like this person may have some childish traits. So if you just met this person, I feel like they have some things they need to work on. And they could be a childish side of them that like idolizes people. This person could be very naive. Like maybe they don't idolize people, but they trust, they're very trusting of people. And I feel like they could have been let down by that in their life. And it could have um, it could have made them act in ways that, that made them selfish or something towards you. I feel like there's, that you guys need to build trust too in this connection. Like somebody definitely has trust issues here. Um, this person resisting change, but they need to change a little bit. I feel like, but I do feel like there's a happy ending here because we got the fool and the, um, we got the king of cups. So this person is going to mature in your connection. And I feel like this is why you guys are meant to meet. And I see as well. Whoa, guys, wait a minute. Double emperor. So this person double is not going anywhere. And honestly, low key, they could have some control issues, even though like it may not seem like it at first. They definitely, part of them is like, I feel like. They want, they, they really like, I mean, like they trophy wife almost like a trophy, trophy husband. Like they really just want you all to your, all to themselves. Like so much to the fact where it could be selfish. Like you guys may have a lot of people you care about and things you need to do. And this person's like, they want you all to themselves. And like, I feel like they have to learn how to like be a little bit more diplomatic with that energy. Um, I feel like there's guilt. If there was like a falling out here, this person is very guilty about how things ended. And I feel like they're resisting this change. But as soon as they accept that that they did something selfish in this connection, things will come together again, pile number four. So if you're waiting to hear from this person, that's what's going on with them. We got the emperor here twice, so they're not going anywhere. We got the knight of wands here. And I feel like this person, when they do decide to come in, they're going to come in strong and fast. And they're very attracted to you. And honestly, this person needed to go through a transformation. So pile number um, four. If you just met this person, then I feel like this person that came into your life for a reason to help you unleash your creativity. And I feel like this person um, really, really likes you. And I feel like there's going to be a transformation with this person. But if you guys, for whatever reason, like how, if there's some things with this person that you are noticing that are selfish and they need to work on, it's probably part of that connection. So I wouldn't worry so much, but I feel like this person is very excited um, to have you in their life. They really love you and it's going to come together. And if your relationship's going well, then then good. Have fun with it because it looks good here. But for those that like are not talking to this person, this person does have a good heart because they, some of you guys are wondering like, do they do feel guilty about something they did or said that they, they feel very guilty. So they are going to tell you that. And there will be peace in this connection too, um, guys. What else is going on here? Six of cups. Yep. I knew it. So this person, if, they, if they're not in your life, they are really nostalgic thinking about everything that went on. And they realize, okay, also another thing too, this person, like, it may not be like idolizing people, but it could be they just listen to the wrong people's advice. Like they had people in their life that they respected, but they realized that this person definitely like led them the wrong way, I feel like. And I feel like it could have affected your connection. Um, yeah, there's a lot of conflict here as well. This person's conflicted. And they could be an air sign, um, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Two of Wands here, yeah. 
this person realizes that they that that they need to kind of step it up i feel like but the emperor is here this person also feels like very dominant over you controlling a little bit too i'm getting it's like a very complex connection but i feel like it's 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 for a reason this person has scorpio in their chart too or aries and i feel like there will be communication in this connection this person definitely needs to kind of communicate like they need to communicate with you i feel like if they're not um i suppose they could be mad at you too um let's see what else is going on here a year from now yeah i told you this person is meant to be in your life a while too pile number four because i feel like the emperor is there like even if you guys like some of you guys like whatever the case may be you may be checking up on an ex and you're done with them for a few of you guys uh, this person's still going to try to come back because they really really are thinking about you you could have just came to this reading because you're feeling their energy but for a lot of you guys it's like yeah this person like they're going to come back when they feel ready. And I feel like um, somebody definitely just needs to kind of change their perspective. And this connection is going to flow very, very smoothly. All right, let's get some more information here for my pile number four people. Patience is key. We went full circle here because with the patience card down here. So, yeah, just be patient with this person, honestly. They, they're they just releasing some child some um childish traits. And I feel like they, they really do think you're wifey and husband material. Exactly. Thank you, cards, for just seconding what I was saying. And I feel like this, I feel like somebody feels a little neglected or abused in this connection. So if you are dating this person, like, I feel like they're kind of soft and go easy on them or vice versa. Like this person's a little rough around the edges. They need to be more softer with you because you guys are sensitive. Like there needs to be a little bit more communication in the future here. And I also see as well, like you guys are getting a lot of signs about this connection. And yeah, I do see this person taking action towards you guys uh, very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And I feel like with, with this adversary chart, I accept challenges are the best way to learn. The little challenges that you guys have in this connection are going to help you guys reach your full potential. So that's what I'm seeing this connection. Um, pile number four. Let me see what else I do see coming in here. Six of swords. Yeah, it might take a little while, like, you know, but this person is going to come towards you if they haven't already. And I feel like this person, yeah, for a lot of you guys, this is the next energy for sure. Like, they're going to go through a transformation. They feel guilty. And you guys, in the meantime, you're going to be unleashing your creativity and I feel like for those that met this person and things are going well, don't be discouraged if like something happens in this connection, a little bit of a mess here because it's meant it's meant for bettering you guys. Like it's, it's complicated, but you guys are going to have faith. I feel like you guys know that you met someone special here, pile number four, and they know they met you. You're special. That's really what I'm seeing here. Yeah, a very, very unique connection for my pile number four people. I want to get one last message for you guys. Dreams, like this person, like you're, you're their dream person. Let's go full, full circle. And I feel like they're never, they're never going to let you go because you're, you're their dream person. Honestly, that's what I'm seeing for my pile. Number four people, this person tells other people that you're their dream person. So if you're out of contact, like then you, they, they'll come back because it's like, how can they let go of their dream person? Right. And if you just met this person they're they, yeah, they definitely think you're a dream come true. Um, but sometimes people are not ready for the dream to come true. You know what I mean? Like they got to like kind of adjust to the energies. Mm. I'm drinking some water because this reading is involved. Um, yeah, this person, I really feel like you guys, pile number um, four, and you're meant to kind of establish a friendship bond with this person too. I feel so. Um, yeah, take it slow, I'm hearing. That's what I'm, you have to take this connection slow because I feel like it's going to be a, a, a really good connection, but someone's going to be not ready for it when you guys when you guys have meet you know so obviously it's like you guys are asking about this person so i feel like yeah when you guys met then then it wasn't like the right timing for somebody here so that's why i feel like even if things are going well in the connection don't be discouraged if this person has some childish traits because they'll work on it they'll work on it but i think it's just part of the connection pile number four but overall this person's really really excited about you and they're 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 definitely even if you guys fall out they're a friend for life they will be but they will be watching over you always and I feel like they'll always be open to kind of getting back together for most of you guys if you really give them a solid offer um, when they're not in their ego. Because they came up as the emperor twice. So they got, they're very, very stubborn by number four too. And um, that's what I'm seeing. But they got to release that childishness. Um, I feel like this person could have a little bit of anger or repressed anger or have a little bit of a, uh, you know, something they need to work on. All right, I'm going to move on, though, because I'm talking too much. Let's move on to pile number five, and let's see how your person feels about you. Okay, pile number five, this person thinks you're so, so hot, um, sexy, like, mm, this person, like, they want you really badly. That's all they think about. They want you, they want you, they want you. Um, you might want to see 18 plus reading because this person is the type of person that comes up in the 18 plus reading. Uh, this person thinks that you are so attractive like and um if, they, if you've gotten with this person they want to do it again and again and again and again and again and obviously if you haven't they're thinking about that 
Um, you're probably feeling this person's energy because they're obsessing over you and they're obsessing over you in the physical way too, which for some of you guys, if that makes you uncomfortable, I'm sorry, but this person definitely has pictures of you um, saved. <laughs> or you, if you guys have pictures together, they look at your pictures in, in a nice way too. Uh, this person definitely sees you in a very uh, sexual way though, and that's what's coming in strong. Um, I feel like you're the bestest person ever had. Um, if this is an ex, then this is just like, this is really sad, but I feel like they like, they, they like, when they're dating someone, they just, all I think about is you. All I think about is you. Like, that's what I'm feeling. All right, let's see what's going on for pile number five. Yeah, this person's really sad, I feel like. If this is an ex, then they're just really sad that you're not in their life, and <laughs> this person's really, like, honestly, this person, if, if you're talking to this person, they're already kind of scared of losing you because it's like, they know they're not going to be able to recover from it because you really bring a lot of great stuff into this life. Your person definitely suffers from like self-love issues, I feel, because I'm writing and getting this like four of pentacles energy where they feel like they have to hold on tightly. I feel like this person is very worried about losing you forever is what I'm hearing, uh, but I feel like they're trying to be positive about this connection. And I feel like as well, you guys may be worried about losing this person forever, but I feel like this person will always have love for you. Yeah, net of wands. I do feel like this person is a bit of like a bad boy um, or have some traits or like a bad, <laughs> or this person might think you're a little bad too. Like I, that's what I'm feeling. Um, this person also, yeah, we have the magician here. So yeah, I feel like this person, like they, they could be in like a bit of a player energy right now. And that's what I'm seeing. But I do feel like with the six of swords here, like this person definitely like will go to distance for you to see you, especially to hook up with you on pile number six. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, some of you guys blocked this person, I feel like. Um, I feel like there was, yeah, I feel like this person was a bit of an F boy at some point or is still one, depending on where you're at in this connection. But with the temperance here, I feel like this person definitely is going to balance out those energies. Okay, yeah. Pond number four, your person may have had like uh, an issue, like being overly sexual and stuff. Like, and I feel like they got to kind of put that to rest, pond number five. Um, I feel like when you meet them, they're going to kind of be conflicted. Um, there could be a lot of energies around them of a lot of people, but they're going to like, they're gonna figure that out because I feel like this person probably messed up in this connection. Let's see what's going on here. We got the release the X. So, um, okay, pile number five. I'm getting a few things here. Yeah, this person's feeling overwhelmed. I feel like when you guys met this person, um, they could have had an ex they needed to release. Like, and I'm getting that, you know. Um, but I feel like this person like really does like you. So um, if this is like a connection from a while ago, then I feel like this is probably the past energy. For some of you guys, like you're wondering what's going on with this person because like you guys have this bomb connection, but they have an ex they need to release. And I feel like that sadness could be them just kind of trying to heal from the past. And they're feeling very overwhelmed because it's like they have your energy and they have like this past energy that they need to heal from. They have this self-love problem, pile number five. But I do feel like there's future potential here because this person eventually is going to express their love towards you and try to get that relationship to the next level. But I feel like they have a bit of healing to do before then. So um, obviously if this is your ex and they're, they're sad, they're trying to release you, but they're feeling really, really overwhelmed, especially upset that you blocked them. They're really upset you blocked them. This person got a lot, a lot of sexual energy and I feel like you guys like maybe harm this person because of that, but I feel like it's just something they were kind of born with. Like they have a, like, they think about sex a lot, like a lot, a lot. And it could just be some kind of karmic thing that they have to deal with, kind of balance out that energy. And I feel like you do please this person, like, you know, or they think you could. You know, so I don't think it's about that, but I just feel like for some of you, like you're worried about this person, like, are they thinking about their exes or something? And I think no, because this person, like the only person that they really think about sexually is you. But I feel like the sadness is more like they're just trying to heal from their past. I'm, I'm seeing. So if you met this person and they were releasing an ex, it could have took a little, like they could have been at the ending stages of that pile number five but it could have affected the connection because maybe that ex was still lingering and stuff that's kind of what i'm getting at here like i feel like there could have been a, a lingering a ming or like a, a conniving ex like around you or them and it could have affected the connection but when it comes to you guys and your sexual connection like i feel like it's like they only have eyes for you even if you haven't hooked up with this person it's like they really only want you some of you guys are worried about that don't be that's what i'm getting at this person the ex energy is more like releasing the sadness of the past and everything like that and i feel depend if you just met this person give it some time but if this is like your ex now like whatever ex was before you like they're over that they're only thinking about you now like that's what you guys need to know heal something broken yeah i feel like um what's that i heard like funny you're the broken one but i'm the only one needed saving so that song came through and also there was another song 
I like that you're broken like me. So you guys both needed healing when you when you when you guys met each other. And I feel like that's why this connection came through. And it could have been both over exes or over family issues or other things. And I feel like, um, yeah, this this relationship definitely you both needed to improve your self love. And I feel like that's why this connection happened. But this person, they might have a bit of a bit of an ego because the rock star card came out. Uh, but this person, deep, deep down, I feel like they do really love you. Um, that's what I'm seeing because they, they do want to express that to you right now. Like, I feel like they want to express that they love you, pile number um, five. Like, that's something that they really want to tell you, even if you don't believe it. And this person, the nurturer. Yeah, I feel like somebody here had an issue with nurturing. So someone was, maybe you really nurtured this person or they really nurtured you. But whoever really nurtured the other. So if you really nurtured this person, like they really value that. That you took the time to really nurture them and help them and get them back on their feet. Like I feel like you met this person when they were going through a lot. And you really got them back on their feet. And I think you guys are going through a lot as well. But maybe you didn't share that with them as much as they shared with you. Or maybe you shared a lot with them. But they didn't share whatever was going on with them with you. But there was a lot, a lot of nurturing in this connection. And I feel with the go outside here, you might have encouraged this person to get out of their comfort zone, to get out of their, their misery. This person may, may have just had mental health issues where they couldn't let go of the past. But I feel like you helped this person do that. And now they can't let go of you. <laughs> All right, reach out to me, please. Like this person, they're playing, they could be playing games. Some of you guys are like, I did reach out, but this person wants you to keep trying because I feel like they feel like um, they need you to like keep keep trying like or keep expressing their love. What am, what am I getting at? Like this person wants you to reach out to them. So if they are withdrew, it's because they feel like they want you to reach out more. Like you're not reaching out enough. Whether or not you agree, that's how they feel. But I feel like this person is going to reach out if you don't, if you're out of contact your kindness changed this person's life like that's what i'm trying to get at like i really feel like you guys healed this person a lot and they really like realized how much of a mess they were when they met you and they they kind of respect that you took the time to really help them um obviously if you just met this person then it's already your kindness has took an impact on their life for sure and i'm talking about you to others yeah this person is talking a lot about you and they're talking about how you you do have a really nurturing side but honestly pound number four um five sorry i feel like this per somebody some either they feel like they neglected you or they feel like neglected by you but at the same time nurtured by you i feel like this person's confused a little bit or you're confused because i feel like there's just like a lot of good in this relationship but there's a lot of like things that need to be released so i do feel like this relationship has a chance um pile number five but it does feel like someone just needs to like release the past here especially if this is your ex and there's a lot of history here and if this is someone you just met there's a lot of potential but there needs to be healing and you probably attract this person because they they do really like your healing energy and they they, they do have a broken heart if this is a new love they probably are broken hearted over something in their life may not be an ex but something if this is your ex and they're totally broken hearted over you and they're and if i feel like if this ex had another ex you were worried about don't be because this the, you are the ex to worry about like their ex is worried about you. You know what I'm saying? Like you are the, you are the threat. Like, I don't feel like they're, they're, they, they really do care about you guys. And even if this person is her over next, like it's, it's more about what happened than it's about them. Like they really are only attracted to you. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting. This person also needs to feel in control. Like with the reach out to me, please. I need to feel in control. Like this person wants you to reach out to them because they don't want to feel vulnerable because they've been so hurt in their life. So um, some of you guys, like if it really was a blow out, blow out, you know, like uh, maybe you do want to reach out. Um, I'd say, Maybe go for it, but I, I feel like this person will anyway, regardless, and you might just want to wait. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait for the answers a little bit. Yeah. This person coming up as the King of Wands and the King of Cups. Yes. Okay. Okay, pile number five. This person knows... This person, you may have talked about your ex too, or they know that there's someone else that likes you and it really hurt them, honestly. So this is your ex, like, and if you were dating someone else or they know about someone else, or if you started dating this person and you and you know, and know your ex was calling you, like, this person is really threatened by an ex in your life as well. Maybe you're threatened by an ex in their life, but they're threatened by an ex in your life. And it came, it came out strong because this person's like, I feel like they, they, you could have talked to this person about another person and it, it didn't really like affect them. Cause I see like two, two energies here, but either way, this person's upset about it, but they're still going to come in even though they're wounded, but they, they deep down worry like, Oh, are you just not over your ex? Is that why you're with me? You know that I feel like it's almost the same energy. Like if you feel that way about them, they definitely feel that way about you. So you or them definitely some ex drama coming in here. Again, it could resonate on either side of this, but yeah, I feel like someone's afraid that there's competition here. That's what I'm seeing. But I also see as well for you guys, like the, the, the spark, the fire has not gone out in this connection and it may never, you know, cause there's a lot of love here. Um, the denial, hmm, fear. Yeah, this person like, I feel like 
for some of you guys who haven't heard from this person, like they're in denial or about their feelings right now, or they're just being indecisive or they're scared, one or the other, but they are gonna come, they are waiting for you, like in a way, like they're still waiting to hear from you. Also, if this is your ex and maybe you are moving on, you're just picking this pile because you're curious, they're in denial that, that this is over. Like they still wanna get back with you regardless of whoever else is in the picture. And if like, you know what I'm saying? Like, or if this is someone that you're still in connection with, then they're in denial of like their feelings right now, but they will allow those feelings to flow. It's basically gonna have Pisces energy too um, in their chart or Cancer Scorpio. The 10th house is here as well. So I feel like you guys are just meant to like step out into the spotlight right now, be yourself. You guys definitely have a big destiny and this person knows that. And I feel with the world here as well, like you mean the world to this person, like this person feels that you are their destiny. And if this is your ex that you're moving on from, I feel like I wouldn't play with their feelings because this person is like really, really uh, crazy about you guys. If this is your ex, and if this is someone you just met, then I feel like the, the message is to focus on your, your career and destiny. And this person will naturally be very attracted to you and come out of their shell and be inspired by you. I do feel with this this pile that this person had no direction or purpose in life until they met you. So when they met you, like you are the source of inspiration and you make them feel like that they can't do things with their life. And I feel like they, they can do something big with their life. Like you encourage this person. I feel like you guys did a lot of pep talks or will do a lot of pep talks with this person if you just met them. But yeah, relationships. This is important relationships for sure. Um, we got the hermit here. I'm attracted to those who serve my higher good. And then we got the hermit here. So... Um, somebody was coming out of a hermit phase as well in this connection. And also, um, if this is your ex and you guys broke up now, I feel like they're in a hermit phase. Like, I don't really feel like they're around anybody. They're just thinking about you. They want to come forward. You put this person in a hermit phase and maybe in the past they were this knight of wands kind of playerish doing what they can to get by. But now this person is like, they're in a hermit phase. And I feel like you taught this person to be alone. If this is your ex, like they were so hurt by the breakup, you taught them to be alone, like to truly be alone and release their past because they could have had a lot of energies around them. But as soon as things stopped working out with you, they really just kind of let it go. So that's what I'm seeing here. This person means the world to you. Let's get some more advice here. Oh, I mean, you mean the world to them. Sorry. Or they could have, the situation will improve. So I do feel like the situation will improve if you, if you wanted to. And I do see this person coming towards you. First is very intimidated by you. They're very afraid that, you know, with the tower here, if you guys said something to this person, like, they, it hurt their feelings or you guys talked about an ex in front of them it really hurt their feelings or if you talked about seeing someone if you so much as mentioned or hinted you were seeing someone new huh, even something so small if this is your ex and they saw like another guy comment hard eyes on your photo like this person heartbroken you know like or if they see like you tagging a girl or a guy or whatever you're dating in a photo like heartbroken shoom, like this person does not want to see you with anybody else it breaks our heart, you know? That's what I'm feeling like with this connection. So if you guys um, put it out there that you were with somebody else or hinted at it, this really hurt this person. And I feel like it actually made them retrieve it even more. <laughs> and that's why they're kind of acting funny. But they, they are, they are coming, they, you know, they feel like if you're not with someone else, you'll reach out to them. Why are, you, why are you not reaching out to me? You know, they feel maybe you're with somebody else and that's why you're being so withdrawn. So they're trying to distract themselves from their feelings. And I see as well, they always, they appreciate your friendship. And at the end of the day, I feel like the situation is going to improve, but there needs to be communication here if you want it. And in the meantime, I feel like you and this person are focusing on your abundance right now. Your intuition will tell you the right steps in this connection. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. Success is here. This person's destined to be successful. So are you. And I feel like um, the conflict in this connection, it's actually pushing you more towards your success, believe it or not. And the 10 of, yeah, and I feel like this person sees you, they see you as a happy ending for them. And depending on your situation, you know, this person, I feel like if you want this person back, then they are going to come forward. That's what I'm seeing here. And the alchemy, like this person is realizing that they, you taught this person about alchemy, I feel like, whether or not you realized it, that they can manifest the dream life because they see you do it. And I feel like you got this person into spirituality too, low key. They're watching you for sure. And they like your positive posts, I'm hearing. You guys post positive things. They love that. That's what I'm seeing. You really, you really like help this person or help this person or are helping them. If you just met them, you, your presence is helping this person. And I think that's what the universe really wants you to know. Pile number five. Oh my God. I just realized I, I, I messed these up. Oh, well, let's keep going. <laughs> All right. So let's move on to pile number seven. I messed up pile number seven and I just don't understand how or why I did that. Wow. I really am going back to my old ways because I used to do this all the time. Give me a thumbs up if you've been in my, <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you've been here so long, you've seen me do this before. I haven't done this in ages. That really, you know what that really means? I'm in channeling mode because when I'm channeling, I spell terribly because I'm so in the Zen, in the zone. <laughs> and also like when I am um, doing these readings and I'm channeling so hard, I always 
like tend to mess up the, the timestamps and it's been a minute since I've done it because I've usually been like kind of on it but I really feel like I was so into this reading today that I didn't even notice that's so funny give me a thumbs up if you guys know you even noticed that I did this because that is so classic Alice all right pile number seven all right now this person really 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 loves you guys because so, we got this heart chakra stone and um right off the bat this person was in your life open your heart chakra you're opening their heart chakra i heard love at first sight or for somebody here like this connection is all love healing lots of healing healing childhood issues um also you guys both um encourage each other to like end ancestral um traumas and, and like um what does that call it? i even think like ancestral like issues like like you guys definitely are like the black sheeps of your family you and them like you guys are definitely meant to make changes in, in your life and they're in your both of your lives i'm seeing all right let's see what's going on for my pile number seven people what's going on here in this connection yeah this person's part of your soul family so right off the bat why what's significant about this connection this person's your soul family you guys could have met this person in your 20s or you might be seeing 202 222 um, if you're seeing 202, like I'm seeing like this person is changing, you're changing, lots of transformation here, lots of learning in this connection. This connection was meant for learning, learning, learning on both ends. Both of you guys have a lot to learn from each other. This person thinks you're very talented and yeah, this person's planning on messaging you soon too as well. And I see that this person, yeah, this person, like I heard that you know this person better than they know themselves and that scares them. Like, you know, this person's soul and this person knows your soul, but you guys know each other very well, but this person no, I, this person feels like you know them better than you know yourself. Like you see this person's potential. This person has a tiger spirit animal. They could be a little feisty. All right. So I see as well with the karma card here that this person is, it's, it, there's some tough karma that this person has to learn in this life and maybe same for you, but I feel like you are helping this person learn a tough karma or help them with their life. And also you guys are meant to improve your communication with one another. So I feel like the karmic thing is that there could be, a, you guys could both have a hard time communicating. And I just feel like, Someone is going to have to really like connect with their heart and like speak to the other person and it will really improve this connection. And I see that you guys are going to be getting creative together. I actually do feel teamwork here. Some of you guys may be like, um, some of you guys I, I am seeing like, you know, you could be the same gender because I just see the rainbows and I always think of that. But for a lot of you guys, I feel like if this is like, um, uh, 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 I'm sorry, I can't even like, I'm trying to talk, but I'm channeling so hard. Okay. If this is a if you guys are like the feminine energy, if this is like a masculine or a male, this person's feminine. If you're if you're feminine, you have masculine. I feel like you guys are both like fluid almost. Like even if like you're you're a man, you're a woman reading for a man, like this person is like karmically it was hard for them because I feel like this person does have a lot of emotion, a lot of feminine traits. I mean, they're still masculine. They're still like if this is a guy, they're still feminine that are girl. But I feel like you guys both are like old souls, so you have a lot of dimensions to your personalities. And yeah, I feel like this person is, yes, okay. Procrastination. Like, I feel like someone's procrastinating in this connection because there's a strong connection here. Also, oh, oh, pile number seven. Like, somebody's influenced the other person to, like, get started on some kind of project that they were procrastinating. So I feel with the number eight here, yeah, I really see collaboration here. Like, pile number seven, you and this person were meant to collaborate and get each other started on things that you both always wanted to do. That's honestly what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, this person, if you guys are not talking for whatever reason, they're definitely planning on messaging you. And even if you are talking, they are going to call you soon. Like, you will get that text or call. Do not worry, guys. Um, yeah, this person was supposed to be someone or is, is supposed to be someone that you, that can, you can ask for help. They are a helpful person, but... Uh, we got there something better here in victory. So I feel like, you know, there is going to be like a better chapter in this connection. Like, I feel like you guys, this connection, um, there's still a lot of learning, but I feel like this person is going to offer you like a better way of doing something like a good idea, a good idea or something I, I'm hearing. And this person's going to help you. Or I also just see like some of you, like this person's like different from you in a way where they'll show you like a better way of doing the things that you have been doing. So for instance, guys, like you can be like, um, why you start a business? This person can just throw some really good ideas out there, you know, something so simple. But you guys both want to see each other do really well. And I feel like that's what's going to come out of this connection. Yeah, Ten of Swords here. So if there was like some sort of painful ending in this connection, there is, like, I feel like someone could have found out something. Something could have happened here. Like this person could not trust you. You could not trust them. There could have been like a few painful endings for some of you guys on and off for some of you guys i feel like this is all learning and growth and believe it or not this person is part of your soul family because i do feel like at the end of the day they want the best for you 
And I feel like you show this person that there's a better way of doing things as well. Like this person could have been like running in circles before they met you. And you're like, what are you doing? No, no, no. This is how you do things. Like you taught this person a lot and they taught you a lot of things and they see you as the empress. This person, do some of you guys may have kids with this person or they really want to have a kid with you. And they think about that a lot. So this person does want to settle down with you. They got the magician here. So they will do everything in their power to try to win you back. Like if they haven't, and if this is someone you're dating, they are trying in their power to like manifest you and everything like that even if they don't need some some of you guys this person knows about manifestation but for some of you guys they just are thinking about you a lot and they're manifesting you and that's why like this person is probably on your mind i really feel like if there was an ending here someone really feels left out in the cold in this connection but because i feel like this person really saw you as like the sun in their life and they're really inspired by you they really think you're talented and they never met anyone like you before so they don't feel like you're easily replaced um, you guys uh, share similar life purpose pile number um, seven. So I really feel like that's why this connection happened. Like you guys do like something about your purpose is intertwined. And that's why I do see a, this collaborative energy about getting creative. So you guys definitely are were meant to kind of come together. Your, your mind's coming together to come up with an idea. And I'll give you guys an example too. This doesn't have to be like, you know, like exactly working side by side or being like a power couple where you, you start a business together. That, that is not sometimes. Yes. For, this is the pile where I do see that happening, but it could be so minute. Like, here's a story. There was um, a guy that I dated very briefly in 2018, and he was the one who encouraged me to finish this Oracle deck. And I had this printable Oracle deck, like, on my Patreon for ages. And then my sister encouraged me to finally, you know, make it into a deck to sell because I have so many decks here that I create. But long story short, like, that person's purpose in my life as short as that fling was, was to get me to get started on all these projects. They're like, come on, come on, do it, do it, do it. You know, this person was really inspiring, even though like our fling was very short. Like, so sometimes some people are in your life just for that reason, you know, that's part of your purpose. They were, they came in to kind of influence you to push you on something, George, to push you on something that you always wanted. But you know, that was just like a minor version, but I feel like that's the type of energy I see here. Um, you guys shim share, share similar purposes in life, you know, to help others. They care, but you both care about people. This person has a good heart. Like that's what I'm seeing. Um, they feel your purpose. And let's see as well. We got the, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> this person, I really get that they, they kind of are brainy and smart. So they, they are an idea person. They could be an air sign. Um, I'm seeing as well. Oh yeah. We've got reconciliation here. So this is what I'm feeling like. This is someone that you guys had a falling out with. And I feel like, um, yeah, this person, they, I feel like this relationship, if you guys fell out or there was some kind of dis disagreement or something happened, ten of swords, something happened here, there is going to be a better approach to this. Like there is something better than what had happened here. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. They're going to make the effort towards you guys. And I feel with, wow, the lovers here. Okay. So I am feeling like with this pile though, it's not, it's like probably not going to be a three month fling. It will probably last, but I, I'm just giving you that example because sometimes like you don't realize how someone can influence you to really get things done. And this person has that, they have the power to really influence you in a positive light. But I also feel like this person was also needing a lot of like healing and they could have been dragging you down too, in a sense. And I feel like you guys could have cut that loose for some of you. For some of you guys, I'm honestly getting like, um, this is what I feel. This person is meant to be in your life, but for some of you, they just were not going down the right path the path that they were meant to go down. So I feel like you guys had to cut them off and they realize that they have to act better and that's why they're coming back in. That's what I'm kind of seeing. But this person is part of your life purpose. And I feel like trust, you're gonna be satisfied with this relationship. This person, this person, you make this person happy and they and they make you really happy. This person can be a Libra. They can have Venus in their um, eighth house or, um, or um, Venus in their, yeah, Venus in their eighth house or um, that's what I'm seeing. Or Libra in their eighth house. I'm also saying as well, yeah, this person has maybe strong seventh house, eighth house placements or strong Libra placements, Scorpio placements as well, I'm seeing. Uh, because this person, like, the pa this is a really intimate connection, like, regardless of if they do or don't. Very, very intimate connection. And I feel like this person really loves, like, collaborating with you. That's what I really do. Like, you make this person feel like they can do, like, when they come home to you, you inspire this person to work harder, to do a good job. They inspire you. This, this, this relationship is very, very inspirational. That's what I'm seeing. And I feel like you guys can come to a balance. Like, even if you guys fell off or fell out, I feel like you guys can make it work. But I feel like it's more this person's, like, free will where they got to kind of get it together and come forward. Like, that's what I'm seeing. Because it's like, I feel like you, like, you said to this person, or they may have said to you, depending on your situation, you're better than this. Like, I know you're better than this. Like, I feel like this person needs to be better, needs to do better. Like, 
and you guys may have walked away. With the next couple weeks, though, um, very nice pile number seven. I see this person coming in. They're persevering, and I feel like they were fighting off like this this transformation or this dark night or whatever it is that they were going through. They were fighting it off, but they're gonna persevere, and I feel like you and this person will end up like getting it together because I see. A happy ending here we got the ten of cups and like i said before this person does want to marry you they really really like you guys and yeah if this person trying to move on with someone else they are not you they cannot even like fathom being with anyone but you this person really likes you because you're the only person that inspires them that way you're the only person that gets their butt moving that that makes them stop procrastinating this person may feel like their life is not even like that exciting without you there um and they still feel connected to you guys honestly and I feel like this judgment judgment came up like somebody may have judged the other person too harshly in this connection as well. So I feel like there will be communication here and I feel good when I can help others. I feel like you guys both feel good when you help others like and maybe you guys were both doing that to excess and, and it affected the relationship. But I really feel like this is somebody who feels good to help others and and you guys feel good helping others. And that's why you are the same soul family, because deep down your core, you both know your purpose is to help others. And I see that shine through. And yeah, the past and the friend, yeah. I feel like this person may come back. If you if you guys had a falling out, this person may come back as a friend first and you guys can kind of work out what happened in the past and get through it. But if this is a new love, I really highly recommend you guys be friends first because I, or this is someone you were friends first and you're in a connection right now, regardless of what happened, you could be anywhere in this timeline. I do see good things coming out of this connection, but friendship, I really feel like this is a friendship bond. Like you guys will be friends and lovers or are friends and lovers, depending on where you're at. And yeah, there's, if you guys are worried if this person like if you did something wrong and you're worried if this person will forgive you they will because they love you and, and i feel like you guys should forgive this person too i mean i'm not telling you to forgive but like i really feel like if you feel like you know your person's a sociopath or a narcissist i feel like you're on the wrong pile because this person like i mean they could have some traits that aren't great but like people like humans do nobody's perfect but this is a good this person really really cares about you and they're showing you this person probably is doing small acts of kindness towards you like you may not notice it but i think they are behind the scenes and i think that shows like how they truly do um care about you guys like that is what i'm seeing for my pile number seven people so thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you guys like this message and i do feel like this person is um planning on messaging you soon so you do have them action there and i do feel like um take it slow with this person because i feel like uh this person is deep they feel deeply and they need a little bit of time and it's like they're they're thinking about it you know they're thinking about you a lot and um they this person five pet pentacles came up they really feel left out in the cold by either you or some situation in their life and i feel they need a little extra like they may have needed a little extra push you know to come towards you as well but magician is here like i said they came up twice so this person will do what they can to come towards you. So I wouldn't worry about it so much. Um, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Somebody taught the other person. Oh, by the way, why is person in your life? Either you taught them to be more assertive or they taught you to be more assertive. Somebody needs to learn to be more assertive. So I think it's important that for this person to come to you if they lack this assertive trait. Either the next couple of weeks or... What is George doing? George? Even the next couple of weeks or months, this person is going to come towards you. So that's what I'm seeing for my pile number um, seven people, which I messed up these piles. How embarrassing. Oh, well, let's move on to pile number six. And let's see what your person is truly thinking and feeling about you guys. All right, pile number six. What's the story here? What is the story here? Okay, so first of all, this person thinks that you are a magnet for success and money and great things this person thinks that you are very talented this person thinks that you you are like a go-getter they are inspired by you this person thinks you're lucky this person thinks that you are just naturally just a very lucky person as well if, if you don't feel like you're a go-getter then you just i don't know i feel like this person also thinks that like they could build with you a future with you so very nice i feel like this person has some money too or they're working on their finances something about money and finances is coming in for this pile let's see what's going on pile number six all right so Um, hmm. All right, pile number six. This person is like tempted by you. I'm not sure why. So two two reasons. This person, I don't know if your person is like, you guys are not together or something like that. And there's a reason why they could feel tempted by you. But this person is like, like they try to let you go, but they can't. And it's like, because they keep being tempted to like, look at you, look at your pictures. I kind of feel like this person like, 
they told themselves like, oh, stop looking at the photos and they can't stop. Like they, they, it's like there's an energy of pulling them in. Like they can't let go. Number 19 to 26 could be important to this connection. Yeah, I hope you're not with someone else. I got this energy already. Please don't go. So either you or them is afraid that someone's with someone else here. So that's what I, I really feel like if this person's with someone else, like they feel tempted to come towards you. And if you guys are with someone else, they're really upset about it. And they, they feel tempted still to talk to you. They really want to be around you. But this person knows they got to let go whatever garbage they have going on to come towards you. And they know you got to let go whatever garbage you have going on to come towards them. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. They want to see you really, really badly. They don't want you to be with anybody else. They're really confused right now. But they really think your wife, husband material. They have a very hard time communicating as well. So there's a lot going on with this individual. Even if they're with someone else, like I know this is, I don't really say like third party, but if this person's like with someone else, it's like, mm, it's like you, they really like think that you are, you're better than that person. Like, and then it's coming in this way and I don't like to say that, but if you're with someone else, this person, that should be me. Like I feel like that Justin Bieber song, that should be me. Or that other, just uh, that Jesse McCartney song, I shouldn't want to, but I shouldn't love you, but I want to. Um, Yeah, let me know if you want to know the songs. I'll post them below because like, I feel like, do you want me to have the feelings just walk away? Like this person has, I have so much, oh my God, I got another song in my head. This person is like in their feelings about you guys and they listen to the music. Like, do you want me to have the feelings just walk away? No, no. Uh, oh my God, this person has so many feelings for you. And also I have a lot of feelings for you. I act like I don't care. Like they're not even there. Like I, IDC, Black Bear, like that song is coming up too. So this person feels like you got, you got something else going on that prevents them from coming forward. Or this person just feels like you're to like they cannot come towards you for whatever reason. Like, for and it could be because they're in a, some of you guys. If you know, obviously, if you know this person's with someone, then confirmed that message. But if you don't have any idea, then that's probably not it. It's just the fact that they're afraid you're with someone else. But that's only for those that resonate with that, you know. Because some of you guys like say you know your person's with someone else, and that is sometimes that happens. You know, uh, I don't like to read third party so much, but sometimes it comes through. Yeah, the truth, the truth is that they're in love with you, you know. This person has to admit the truth to themselves, you know. Um, also, I really feel like they may not be with it, with anybody right now, but there could be, like, an ex around them that's like, come on, come back with me, you know. Like, I'll take care of you. But they're just, like, not even thinking about this person. They're just tempted to look away. So even if you know about someone else, it's like they really are thinking about you and you, and I'm probably going to try to come back. Because I feel like, please don't go. I feel like they got like a really needy ex around them, this person, pile number six, or someone needy around them that's like, don't leave me, please. And it's like they feel guilted and tempted to come towards you. But they really want to see you. They're super confused. They're having a hard time communicating. This person is confused, pile number six. So you got to wait. Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? You just got to be patient with this one. Um, this person is like, oh my God, the hacker. Like this person is literally try, may have tried to hack your account. Or like, look at, not hack, but like, they may have tried to get into your account. Like, I don't know why, I, like, not because they're doing anything. They want to read if you're with somebody. This person could be a little crazy. They could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in their chart or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know why, but I always see like the page of swords as like a stalker. This is more like the Knight of Swords, I, I believe. No, no, this is the page of swords. Yeah, it makes sense. So the hackers here, this person, like they are going to extreme measures to figure out like what you're doing, who you're with, like all that type of stuff. And I feel like with the nine of pentacles here as well, like this person just sees that you're living your best life and they, they're like, damn, like I need to get in on that. Like, that's what I feel like we got the, the, yeah, this person is like, they think they're the main character. Like, honestly, they're like, this is my life. My, my this is my, like, that's how I feel. Um, this person also, you know what other songs come in cinema? Like you are my cinema. I could watch you forever. Like this person watches you. Um, if you have an online blog, YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, they're watching you on all social media platforms. Fake accounts, block accounts, on their regular account, if you know who they are. This person is watching you like crazy and geez. All right, let's keep going. For some of you guys, like they're not, they're not the, oh, George. No, yeah, George is a stalker too. So that's a double confirmation. George, get off the, <laughs> you, this is not about you. So this person is trying to manifest you and they're manifesting you by accident. This person, honestly, probably never, they're obsessed with you. And they, they may have manifested you because some of you guys are like, why am I like this person in my mind? And I feel like the, uh, this person feels like you're like a really good friend. And, um, that's it. also, there's a funny, okay. Some of you guys like, you're like, okay, you may have felt like this person is with somebody. If you don't know their, if they don't have a girlfriend or boyfriend, you may have seen that they're with someone or they might be hanging out with someone of the opposite gender 
or whatever but this person just in need of a friend like this person just sees this person as a friend so even if this person is like with somebody it's like they have it's, this person is not really that interested with them and it's sad but it's like that's what i'm kind of seeing here some of you guys like this person like does not want anyone but you like they won't take any other offers so that's crazy um yeah this person is oof, they got a lot of feelings we got the ace of cups here and we got the page of cups so this person like they want to come in and like offer you something and it's like <laughs> i just feel like this cup is like overflowing like i kind of feel like this person just doesn't know what to do with all these feelings and all these emotions we got weight we got patience we got forgiveness so uh, i feel like some of you guys this is somebody like that really likes you they got a huge crush on you it's getting out of hand and if they're in another relationship, this totally makes sense, this scenario. But for some of you, if this is an ex, then they're just like, for whatever reason, they feel like they got to get over you because maybe you broke up with them, you know, and they're trying to move on, but they just can't. And there really could be like an ex that convinced them to get back together with them or an ex that's trying to convince them to get back together with them. But they're like, I'm good. Because they're like, all, all they can think about is looking at you on the computer, seeing who you're with, seeing who you're with. Like, you know, that's all they care about. Like, they want to know if you're with somebody. So this person, like, they, yeah, I feel like they want you to forgive them or maybe you want them to forgive you, whatever. Um, this person, like, feels like you're part of their life purpose. And I feel like that's why they're so obsessive over you. And I feel like as well, like, this person, if they are, okay, this is a small percentage of you guys. But if this person's in a relationship and you feel their energy and you're curious, that's why you came to this video. Or it, whatever the case, no judgment, you know. This person wishes they were, like, free of whatever is going on in their life and they fantasize you about you a lot, you know. And for some of you guys, it's not an ex, but it's like they're, they feel stuck in this life that they're living and they wish they could be free to be with you. So some of you guys, this person just has like something going on in their life that makes them feel like they can't come towards you. So they have to watch you. And for some of you guys, you just, they think you rejected them. And that's why, like, it, like there's a, they feel like coming towards you is a temptation for whatever reason. You guys could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, it could be a Sagittarius, or they can have that in their chart, rising sun or moon or Venus, Aquarius, a Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys, I just feel like you straight denied this person in their eyes. And it could be because they have some crap going on here. This person's going to heal and come towards you. You are like a star in this person's life. They are very inspired by you. And I think that's why. Queen of Cups, they think you're so beautiful. Like, wow. They think you're so attractive. You, you excite this person. A lot of things going on here. We got let your friends help you. Yeah, honestly, that's what I'm getting full circle here. If this is your ex, guys, like this person like is trying to just get anybody around them to help them. They could have a female friend around them or they could have an ex that they friend zoned that's helping them. But they're just trying to like get over you and they're trying so hard, but they can't. If this is your ex. If this is a new love, then yeah, this person is just so excited and intrigued by you, wants to come forward. Some of you guys, like you just met this person, but you may have found out that they're involved in something. It's like they're trying to get out of that so they can come towards you. That's all I'm seeing here. But some of you guys who are like, thinking maybe this person like who is around this person is there like a one if they do have a female around them it's like they don't they only feel this person as a friend like that's what i'm getting at like that's what i'm seeing um yeah because i am sending like some other or or for you guys like they see you're with someone else and they're like but you're really just trying to like seek some friendships to get over this person probably where you're at um that's what i'm seeing here but this person like <sighs> I feel like you guys probably deserve better than whatever this person is doing right now, but I do feel like they are going to contact you. Um, this person it has a very playful energy. I feel like this person is going to come in with a playful energy. That's what I'm seeing. But they're kind of afraid of you too. I feel like you guys intimidate this person. That's what I feel like as well. For some of you guys, like I feel, file number six, like you may have told this person to get lost. So they're like, all right, fine. Like, you may have told this person, like, I don't want to be with you. So they're like, okay. So maybe they're talking to like, if they're a man, they're talking to females just to try to pass the time. But really, they're talking about you. Like, they, they can't get over you. And I feel like this person helps you let down your walls, let them back in. And that's why they're tempted. Because if you told them you don't want to talk to them, what are they going to do, you know? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person sees that, uh, a future with you. They think you're, like, wife material. They think you're so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, you're like this person's wish. Honestly, this person, if they messed up with you, they wish they can turn back time. But we got the uh, Nine of Pentacles again. Like, you guys are so successful. So, I feel like if this is, like, um, someone that, like, you dated in the past or whatever, like, they, if they try to date other people after you or, or are, it's like nobody has that level of, like, independence and, like, perfection that they feel like you have. Like, nobody compares. I heard nobody compares to you. Oh, my God. This person has a whole playlist in their brain. Like, this person has... Uh, like, they could have tried, but, like, it just didn't work. And for a lot, of, a lot of you guys, like, it's just nobody compares to you, like, honestly. Like, you see how bored this person looks? Like, in, in like 
and it's sad if you know this person to be with somebody that's kind of sad for them you know like but it's like this person is so bored like then they just see you living your best life like pile number of six like so it's just like yeah they're gonna ace of one they're trying to come back in there you know and then they better figure it out you drive this person crazy and obviously if they ran away from this connection then they're about to circle right back to you this person, um, yeah, they're thinking about you a lot. I feel like, yeah, this person really puts you on a pedestal with the six of wands here. So something about this connection, maybe they thought wasn't logical or wasn't right. Maybe, maybe because you cut the, yeah, I feel like this person still has feelings for you. But if you told this person no or cut them off, then they're like, yeah, it's not logical for me to still feel this way, but I do, you know? Um, and obviously, like, if this person is a new person, then it's just like, they're intimidated by you and they feel like this can never work, you know, but they want to come towards you. And obviously for some of you guys, if you just met this person, you may, may or may not know this person may have another situation that they need to figure out. That's only if you know about, I feel like most of you guys who know about it, what's going on with this person. Let's pull one more card here. Yeah. Three of cups reverse. Like, mm, <laughs> okay. Yeah. This person, like, I feel they need some of you guys, they need to come out of a connection or they need to kind of really cut something loose before they can come towards you. But for some of you guys, I feel like you need to do that. Or for some of you guys, like, it's just like you told, you honestly like told this person no, or you broke up with them. And so they're trying to move on. And it's like, that's, that's not, there's no seven of swords here. I don't see this deception. So I don't really feel like there's anything shocking here, but it's like, nobody compares to you guys at all. That's what I'm seeing. Like they are not you, like whoever it is, I'm gonna look at these cards again. Please don't go. I hope you're not with someone else, but honestly, like, Yeah. They need to communicate, and for most of you guys, it's morally like they're afraid that you're with someone else. That's what I'm getting at. And they keep stalking your accounts to find out, like, yeah, this person has a lot. I feel like they're male. They just have a female friend around them for support. It could be, even be their ex they're using for emotional support to get over you. And for a lot of you guys, it's like if, if they were involved, if they have a female friend around them, or they were dating someone when you met them or whatever, this person, they kind of just, they, they're coming out of it, I feel like. That's kind of what I'm getting at. With the moons here, like this person has a lot of feelings towards you. And I don't want any of you guys to chase someone who's in a connection. Like, obviously, they'll come towards you if they're ready, if it's healthy to do so. You know, this is a general reading. And I don't condone, like, cheating behaviors, you know. Bad karma, guys, but no judgment, no judgment. Um, this doesn't feel bad. So obviously, if your person's in a connection, like they need to figure that out because they really, really do like you. <laughs> and if they're bored with their significant other, they really need to do some soul searching and not date that person. Then I'm um, improving health. This person, honestly, for a lot of you guys, okay, the third party is their mental health. Like I'm gonna leave it at that. Like this person, this person, like you may think they're like, if this is your ex, you may think they're out with other men or women, but they're actually working on their mental health. And the people around them that surrounding themselves with are people that listen to their problems. So if they're a man. And they know that females will listen to their problems or for some of you guys like you know uh, men with feminine energy they have around them listening to their problems and that's all like they really talk about is like you you know so i feel like if this is like your ex or someone that met you like they're talking about you to other people and they're finding people that would listen to them they want to talk about their feelings like about you that's kind of what i'm feeling here for this pile let's get some more information here for my pile number six people then we'll move on to the last and final pile which is pile number eight very soon Hard to hard conversations and deception. Okay, this is the subject card. I knew there was some, this person's hiding their feelings towards you, but they're gonna come, they're gonna come around. They need to let go of control issues. So that's kind of what I'm feeling. Like if you sent this person away, they're trying to move on, but it's not going well. They're just kind of using those people for emotional support, sadly. And if this is a new love, then they kind of, they, they don't, they fall out of love. Some of you guys with like someone that they are talking to or with, and they're gonna come towards you. And for like some of you guys, I just really just feel like, um, this person, honestly, like you're just working on their mental health and there's no one around them because nine of pentacles, they could be single, like nobody's around them, but they just kind of like talk to a lot of people just to kind of get support. And that's kind of what you're picking up on. Um, what is this deception about? Let's just, yeah, honestly, guys, the, the, the bit, deception is their feelings towards you. That's the main message here. So like what, what this person has going on or what they present is way different than what they're feeling on the inside. So if they're presenting themselves like this, like living their best life, bikini, partying, no, if they're presenting themselves with like this, this like happy relationship, but they're in their, your DMs, like, you know, what's going on, you know, it's just like what they present is not what meets the eye here, you know, in this pile, like that's what you guys need to know, honestly. So if this person, like, regardless, I'm not saying I see, if you are, are like seeing this person, 
I'm not seeing them with someone else. Like that's not what I'm saying. They're just hiding their feelings. You know, it's only going to be for those that resonate. Cause I just feel like there's just like, Oh, is there someone else energy here? There's a temptation there for some of you guys. But like, I feel most of you guys, the scenario is like, you're out of contact with this person. So it's like, they just, they're just trying to talk about you with other people. And for, for a lot of you guys, it's a, it's like a male energy seeking support from like a, a female energy or a male energy seeking support from like a, um, like a feminine male energy, you know, that's kind of like the energy I'm getting at. Some of you guys are like, what is going on with this person? Anyway, that's what I'm seeing for my pile number six uh, people. This person is definitely coming towards you within the next couple of months. Um, I feel like I got a lot of healing to do, but they are coming towards you and they just have a really hard time communicating. So they're trying to work out their feelings, I feel. And it's up, up to you what you want to do with this connection when this person comes in. Some of you guys, you, you sneaky, you're just asking about your ex. And yeah, even if they're with somebody, they're still into you. Like, sorry, that's whoever they're with. And for those, for those that came to hear that, here it is. I'm gas you up. Up. that's what I'm seeing sorry but that's all I see here for five pile number six people and of course if this is someone you just met they do they're gonna offer you something but give them some time a couple months I see that happening so that's what I see for my pile number six hope you guys like this message and I'll see you guys next time bye Alrighty, last but not least um pile number eight let's see what is going on with your person okay so right off the bat this person came into your life to really uh, put a change in motion. You change this person, they change you. This stone is definitely about like a painful transformation. So this person could have brought on a painful transformation or you could have brought on a painful transformation uh, for this person. But I feel like this is something about this person help you discover your life purpose. So I feel some of you guys getting more into spirituality because of this person and not necessarily because like they are into spirituality. It could be more because this person triggers something in you and you wanted to know what this feeling was and it could be past life connection you have with this person. I feel like this person um, was meant to be in your life to bring a spiritual awakening of some kind or they did bring on a spiritual awakening indirectly or directly because your soul recognized them. <laughs> so I feel like this person, like you figured out maybe they weren't the most trustworthy or you, they feel like they couldn't trust you. There's trust issues in this connection. Um, this person definitely is very afraid to get close to people and I feel like that's, that's the, the root of their self-sabotaging I'm hearing. Um, you are definitely out of this person's league too. And I feel this is the type of person that like, if they feel like you're out of their league, they won't tell you that they'll just, they'll just try to play it really cool because they don't want to admit it. You know, I don't know what to do. This person right now, they still don't know what to do in this connection. This person thinks that you're moving on and they're spying on you. This person's seeing that you're doing a lot of great things with your life right now. This person, um, they're playing a lot of games on purpose so many cards this person is so stubborn too okay so you guys definitely this person put you through the ringer already i feel like you feel my creativity okay so this person like they do really care about you but it's just like they're afraid to get close to people and they feel really stuck right now in this connection this person is definitely trying to like research like this person is trying to read articles like on like how to like get back together or how to convince you to get back together actually this person can have like some earth in their chart they could be a, a virgo a capricorn or a taurus this person has a hard time articulating emotions so they like to like try to figure like they like to i don't know why i'm hearing them google they like to google things i don't know why that's coming through but this person is a hermit like with the island card here um this person may have inspired you to like seek help like or seek a mentor out through this connection because i feel like this person like gave you such a hard time that maybe you were, you're starting to reach out to other people. Like, what should I do with this person? You know what I mean? Or maybe that's what you're doing now. Like you're seeking out like some guidance and it's bringing you more on like a spiritual path. Like, I feel like that's this person's purpose. Like this person may have actually like tried to mentor you as well. You may try to mentor this person. Someone here is like, was a student here. I feel like in this connection or this person may have treated you like, like they knew everything. I feel like, and maybe, you, yeah, that's what I'm kind of getting at. Or maybe um, you guys wanted to seek other people's opinions on this connection and you found like a mentor through that. 1010, you might be seeing this person put you through a spiritual, this person was in your life to, to, to bring on a spiritual awakening. Because I feel like you guys had to cut this person off for a lot of you guys, pile number eight, or you're going to have to cut this person off if you haven't already. Uh, this person is, um, I feel like with the page of wands here and also with the... Yeah, Six of Pentacles. You guys are headed towards success in your life. And I feel like you're going to realize or have realized this person is like kind of just like taking away from like all this greatness that you have going on in your life. I definitely feel like this person it was, um, I feel like it's a karmic cycle. Like this is one that piles. I feel it's very, very karmic. And I, and I don't like, I feel like every relationship has karma. So every relationship is essentially karmic, but I feel like this one was the karmic to the point where you're like enough is enough in this connection, or you will feel that way. Enough is enough and cut this person off. Like if you haven't already, you're going to get the courage to do it. I feel like pile number eight. 
Um, I feel like this person, like, if you did cut them off, um, they're really hurt over that. And they're trying to balance out that emotion, but they're trying to figure out ways to get back to you. They're playing a lot. I feel like this person, if you just met them and you're dating them, this person had a lot of experiences in the past that caused them a lot of grief. So they develop these traits where they play games and try to like one up people because their ego is so bruised by experiences in the past. But this person is going to take a lot of action towards you in the future. And I feel like you guys are going to be shocked by that, but they are going to take a lot of action towards you. And it's like, I feel like they didn't take action towards you or they're not taking the proper action towards you right now. But the page of pentacles, it's like, you're like this like very valuable coin, right? And you guys have to discover that you are a valuable coin because this person knows you're a valuable coin, but they don't understand why you don't understand you're a valuable coin. Does that make sense? It's kind of interesting. So it's like they're staring at this coin like, and then you guys are going to realize that you're this valuable coin or you are realizing that. And as soon as you realize that, this person's going to be like, oh crap, this person figured out their worth and they're going to chase after you. That's like the energy I'm getting here. Um, this person is when you're in your life for a spiritual purpose to break codependency. I feel like when you met this person, like you guys were really like, this is it. Like you felt this bomb connection or, or you have met this person recently and you're like, this is it bomb connection. Why is it not like, why is it so confusing? Well, I feel like this person is just like, they know you're valuable, but it's like they, they were so hurt in the past and they, that they feel like they have to play games to kind of get you to like them, which is sad. So if this is something you've already gone through with this person and you're at the later stages of this, then I feel like you're going to have to forgive this person and like get this person will, will come towards you and they'll try to explain to you why they messed up this connection. But this person's very stubborn. So I'd say be careful because this person will probably try to convince you that they changed. And I feel like it's going to be up to the individual if they actually have, because I feel like with the surrender energy, this person, I feel like you kind of have to just surrender them to the universe or you have had to surrender them. And then they're going to come back towards you and you guys are going to know what to do with this connection. Um, I feel like this person came in your life pile number eight to teach you ownership. Like that you guys have to take ownership of your life. And like also this person is like has a hard time taking accountability for their own actions. So you guys decided that you instead of trying to change this person, you decided to put that energy towards yourself. And now you're you're accomplishing so much. And by the way, you guys are so beautiful. I honestly feel like one of the one of the reasons this person came into your life is because you guys don't believe that you're beautiful, but this person like thinks that you're out of their league. So you have to be beautiful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you are. Also, I just see a like, gold coin. I don't know why, but I feel like you guys are discovering your gifts through this connection. And that's one of the major themes here. This person is a soulmate. You know, there's a strong soulmate connection here. I don't know why I'm hearing three years. So maybe you guys were in a connection for three years or something like that, or you met them three years ago. Or they're going to come towards you in three years. Something about three years is coming in with this connection. Um, yeah, this person actually is going to try to offer you something. It's what I'm getting. But I, I honestly feel like you guys will outgrow this person. And I feel like that's like kind of shocking for a lot of you guys. But I already feel your energy retreating from this person, pile number eight. Like that's honestly what I see. And I see that you guys are focused on your success and your coin. And I feel like you guys have destinies of becoming a mentor. So something about this connection... I feel like for a lot of you guys, I mean, look at these cards that came out with my um, romance deck. Like, look at this person. Like, they just don't know what the heck is going on in life. <laughs> like, they're spying on you. They feel stuck. I'm, they, they're being stubborn. I am who I am. That's like my, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm so stubborn. I'm not willing to change energy. Um, but th at the same time, like, I feel like this person's feeling your creativity. And this person's, um, they heard something about you. They hear, they heard that you're starting some kind of business or they heard that you're like, you're working on your coin. They're hearing that you're doing something great. And I feel like it, it's driving them crazy. They're trying to research, like trying to figure out like how, how you're doing so well without them. Cause this person, like, I feel like they knew you were out of their league from the start. So they try to like bring you down. Like they try to like say things to bring you down because they knew that you were this valuable coin. And you see how this guy was trying to like, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Like this person, like the expression I'm trying to, I feel like the words are not coming out right, but this person saw you as a guy, like it's kind of like four of pentacles also, like if they were trying to hold on to you tightly and the only, the only way they can hold on to you tightly is, is like kind of like to kind of bring you down, I feel like. So if this is someone you just met and you're wondering why they are not acting right towards you, they're kind of trying to like play games on purpose because they know you're out of their league and they know, they feel like that's the way that you're going to be like, kind of like in this, there's like an imbalance here. And you know how like there's a guy sh like shining this guy's shoe and like taking coins? This person like wants you to kiss their ass because they feel you're out of their league. So if someone like you can kiss their ass, then they really made it in life. So that's the kind of energy I'm getting from this person, which isn't the best, <laughs> but well, well, the 10 of pentacles is here. Like this person is going to realize that you, that you, they, you kind of, 
or the, like what they wanted. Like there's a real soulmate connection here. Let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, this person, like, I feel like you guys are destined to be, like, something great. And you guys, this, this connection made you really wise. I feel like this person really kind of made you guys go in and reflect on yourself and things that you wanted to change about yourself. Or this person, and I'm sorry if you just met this person and it's like, this is news to you. You're like, oh. But I feel like this is a new connection. This is good because you're already going to have the insight that this person is very stubborn and they like to play games. And this connection, is you're meant to, to learn from. And that's why the reader research is there. I actually feel like you guys are triggered to read and research through this connection. Like you're looking up their sign. Why are they acting like this? You know, reading, doing pick a card readings, finding more out more about spirituality. Eventually you guys are probably going to become a mentor, which is what really what happens a lot of the time. Like a lot of us are brought into spirituality because of a soulmate connection. For a lot of you guys, this person is not, is not planning on letting go of you energetically, but they're also not giving you what you want. And I feel like that's why you guys are breaking free of this. Justice is here. So karma is coming towards this person. Like I feel like, and you guys are gonna like, I feel like you're gonna hear from this person if you if you haven't already. Or some of you guys like this person always, always keeps in contact with you, always keeps tabs I'm hearing. They don't want you to move on, but they can't give you what you want, you know? Page of source person stalking you a lot, a lot. You might feel their energy. And if you guys are like making new friends or hanging out with new people, they're like jealous, like, like that you're doing so well without them. With the three of swords there, this person's hurt that you're not reaching out to them. Like this person thought that you were gonna chase them, but you never did, or you're not doing it anymore. So you guys are really becoming strong throughout this connection. And it, oh, this person's coming up as the page. Like, I don't care how old this person is, they are not matured. Uh, this person's trying to, they're waiting on you to come back, but they realize you guys are going through a transformation and you're not like messing around anymore. Like you're not like you guys may have retreat. You guys may have ended codependency in yourself. Like, and that's why you kind of retreated. And this person, you may have given away a lot of time and energy to. And if you haven't met this person, then, then just take this as a warning. This person is immature and they're probably going to try to bring you down a little bit because they're jealous of you and they think you're out of their league. So just be careful with that. But this is definitely a connection to teach you your value because you guys are going to realize like, now nah, I am this gold coin and I don't belong to you. Like I'm not your possession or your property. Like you don't bring me down. Like I know my power, my worth. Like this person may try to like control you. There's going to be something going on this connection that you're just not going to like. I feel like you're going to, you guys, this person will turn you off. I feel like that's, that's the energy I'm getting eventually. It hasn't happened yet. Yeah, challenges. I accept that challenges are the best way to grow. Like I feel that the affirmation, you know, coming through. This, what did I say? This person has Virgo energy and the Virgo card came out. Didn't I say that, guys? This person, and then with the Hermit energy, this person could be a Virgo. And I think like this person is very good at pointing out your flaws, but they can't reflect on their own. You guys are going to communicate, though, because I feel if this is like an X, there's an unresolved error here that you guys need to kind of like figure out. But I feel like with the 11th house here, you guys are really discovering yourself. Um, Something about the way you're branching out, making new friends, doing different things. I hear you guys are becoming more popular. Some of you guys are stepping out into the spotlight. Some of you guys have become mentors since you met this person or better mentors. Like, I feel like something really good came out of this connection or is coming out of this connection. And if you're younger and, you just, and you're going through this right now, this person is showing you that, like, you don't have to stay stuck in a connection that makes you unhappy. And if you're unhappy, if you're not, if this doesn't resonate, then it's not your pile. Because I feel like this is a very specific message, like pile number eight. Gratitude. This person actually is very lucky to have met you guys. You guys are very special, I feel like. And you need to see that. This person is lucky to have met you. Like, not anything other other than that. And they are lucky to, met, to have met you. And they know that. And they're lucky to get someone like you. Because they know that you're out of their league. And I feel like you guys lowered your standards for this person because you thought that they were different. This person, you, I feel like you guys walked away, or if you do walk away from this person, you are gonna earn their respect and they're gonna come towards you. But you guys are like evolving through this connection. So what else do the angels want to say about this connection? You guys, yeah, I feel like you guys starting a career or setting foot on your own personal success, you guys are gonna obtain a lot of money, success, and I feel like this person kind of like like drives you to do that because you wanna prove that to this person that you're better like than like what they treated you as. Does that make sense? Like you're, they're gonna regret the day they didn't treat you well and if you guys just met this person i feel like then maybe you know be careful because i feel like they're teaching you something you know we got a yes here so you know you guys know like if this if this doesn't resonate doesn't resonate but if you guys know what I'm, if this rings a bell then definitely take it yes okay a lot of you guys like you're, you've been this is an ex or something and you've been feeling this person's energy a lot and you're like why am i feeling their energy alice like i this this 
you know, I'm done. I, I'm eight is a business number. So somehow this is transforming you into like a successful mentor or person or a business person or money, making money, whatever. But this person, yeah, I don't know why, but they taught you. Maybe some of you guys had issues being assertive. Like this person taught you something or is teaching you something very valuable. So I wouldn't just write it off. It's just like, you know, a terrible experience or something to be afraid of. Cause I don't see anything like that bad here, but I just feel like this person thinks you're out of their league. And the reason they do what they do is, the, is stemming from their own lack of self-worth and immaturity. Three pages came up in this reading, which shows me this person is all around and not mature. But anyway, a lot of you guys are asking like, Alice, like, why am I feeling their energy? Like what's going on here? It's because this person's coming back and they're gonna come back when you're like, when you're in a really good place. So I feel like it, it, there's nothing to worry about, you know? I don't feel like any of you guys are gonna be tempted like with this energy, like to be honest, like I, I just feel like you guys are just gonna be like, all right, whatever. Like, and it's so funny because I do get this message a lot, like in my past, like that, like I've dated people and it was just like, I would really like them. And then like, I would do car readings on myself or, you know, or I'd watch my own readings or other people's readings. Like, yeah, this person's coming back, but you're not even gonna want them by the time they come back. And I never believe it until it happens. And it happened a few times. Like, I'm not sure other people relay that message, but I feel like I've relayed that message and I've read it for myself. Like, or other people have show, tell me that too. And I'm just like, yeah, no, I know I like this person, but then I feel like you guys honestly are gonna transform so much. You're gonna lose attraction to this, this situation. Destiny, it is your destiny. I feel like it's your destiny to kind of stick it to this person, <laughs> to be honest. This person's going to have Capricorn. Let's say they have the earth placements. And I feel like you guys are destined to be like a boss or self-employed or do something great with your life. And I feel this connection has triggered you into like some sort of awakening. Like, and I feel like this is why they're in your life. Like, yep. Something about your work, your craft, like this person is important. They taught you something valuable, like through whatever the experience is, or they will teach you something valuable. And this is a soulmate, guys. There's love in this connection. But Six of Pentacles, you may realize that this person is always going to be like, imbalanced like they're not going to give you what you want but let's see let me pull a few more cards maybe there's hope for your love story there could be some hope here you know i am i i'm becoming less jaded guys i'm coming out of this you know jaded energy i'm opening my heart chakra i'm believing in love again is there hope for these these young lads two of wands this person thinks there's hope <laughs> this person is waiting Ugh, let me see I see that like you guys stepping into the spotlight and this person watching, they could be an air sign also. Six of Wands. The Magician. I'm just not getting the best vibes from this person, but yeah, I feel like they will try, but I feel like you guys are just so out of this person's league and that's like what your angels want you to know. Like you're so out of this person's league, you're out of this person's dimension, you're out of this person's frequency, you're out of this person's everything. Like that's what your angels really are trying to tell you. But let me let me clarify just a little bit. The magicians, like they will try, they will try, but you'll be so high up like by the time they do that. See, younger or less mature and they, they could be older than you, but they're very immature. They're coming up as very immature childish i'm hearing draining netflix and chill like they could just honestly they could never have taken you on dates they could have asked you to netflix and chill like they could be one of those is this person gonna have addiction problems or just escapism problems i feel like at, at a time this relationship was budding or taking off but i feel like this person thinks that you're talking to other people now this person trying to ask around this person trying to ask around to see if you're with anybody like oh I, they think that maybe you're with somebody because you haven't reached out to them they're like, oh, are they starting something new with someone else? Like, you know, this person is contemplating their next move with you. And yeah, this, yeah, this person should try to come in and seduce you. But I feel like this person can have some fire in their chart too. But this person just like, they're coming up as a magician. Like they're just very seductive. Like they know they're going to try to win you back because it's kind of like a game for them. Like that's honestly what I'm seeing upon them, right? And you're going to just naturally outgrow this person. They're very jealous. Like as soon as you start moving on from this person, they're going to come in and come through. So I just feel like this is a karmic lesson, guys. The rest of the piles were pretty nice. This one's a little bit more rough and I'm sorry about it. But this person, I really feel like I'd be careful with because they come up like as someone who just like mine, you know, possessive and just draining and just like teaching you a valuable, valuable lesson. And they're always going to bother you. Like they're not going anywhere, but I feel like you guys naturally just outgrow the situation. So I'm going to stick to my guns. And if you feel like this doesn't resonate, just go pick another pile. Like there's 10 of them, you know, I mean, eight of them. <laughs> Why did I say there was 10? All right, I exaggerated. There's eight of them. Yeah, there's eight and then some other readings you can watch from 2019. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys like this message. Um, you guys have a big life purpose, six of wands, the mentor energy. So I feel that this, this is the message for you guys. Like you could do way better than this person and they know it. 
And so that's why they are messing with you, you know, your mind, your brain, your soul, you know, and I feel like this person, they'll come back, but you'll just see them as petty and not a threat, you know, there's nothing scary here. Doubt. I feel like you guys doubt yourself and this person feed it into that or fed into that or will feed into that. So just be careful. But you guys are destined for success and that's what your angels want you to know. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this reading and I love you all so much. Thank you all for supporting me. And of course, if you want to purchase my Alice Romance Oracles and you know, this is a general reading. So if you want to find out for yourself what your person is thinking or feeling, now is your chance to get channeled messages from me and pull them for yourself on my Etsy. So thank you guys so much. Love you all. Enjoy your day, night, evening, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.